Hey, what's up, ecosystem? Who's ready to learn more about auto carrier software? It's Tuesday Nights Live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. And there it is. I knew it. I was gonna. I knew I'd make a mistake on the audio. I just did. I'm trying a couple new things, and so let me know how the audio is, the video is. I can see it happening now. Okay. All right. So, uh, so that's good. It's bad, but um, it's always it's live, so we never know what's gonna happen here. And I've got my cell phone up, and I'm watching the uh, live chat. So listen, guys, you know that this is Auto Transport Intel. I want to welcome you back. If it's your first time here, I want you to feel welcome. This is the Car Hauling Business Channel, and, you know, I'm Jay, and I'm your host. And we're talking about all things car hauling. I'm live every Tuesday night on YouTube. We're taking new car shipper questions. We're talking about auto transport broker training new dispatcher training, uh, new car hauling business coaching. I've got load board, load board tutorials, and it's live. So, I mean, I might say something weird. I might screw up the audio. I hope not to do that too much, but I made a lot of changes uh, to some of the format of the show. You might even see the screen. The camera's wider. So, um, anyways, help me through the process. If something's not working, okay, you do hear me. Okay, good. Um, but you know, let me know, give me feedback and I hope you enjoy the show. Buckle in. We're in for another two and a half hours. It's going to be a great interview. Um, let me just say this. Oh, no. See, I just hit the wrong button. See? Um, okay. Oh, and I wasn't supposed to have all that up there, but that's okay. It's all right. So we're going to do the hello to the live chat at five minutes. Then we're going to do industry news at 25 minutes. I've got my feature interview at 45 minutes in the show. That's with Niles of Gopher Auto Carrier Software. And then we're going to move into the panel. We're going to have Ty from CTS and Candy from Jacksport. Um, Seaport Storage is going to be on the panel. No special guest tonight because I think we have plenty to talk about as we move into a long conversation about auto carrier software for finished vehicle logistics that is our topic tonight um and so you know i want to jump into the live chat oh it's 805 so i'm right on time for that let's go ahead and say hello to the live chat and and also i've got a message here about i don't know the, the live stream unsupported red <laughs> resolution so i don't know i'm looking over here at my screen you guys know that so let me know as I and man, I'll tell you what, and I'm making these changes now because I'm trying to move as fast as I can into you know the next version, the upgraded version of the show. You know, I'm running ads, uh, talking to people about channel channel sponsorship. So there's a lot happening here. It's really really cool. I'm really excited about uh, a lot of changes this year coming. Uh, Bill from Bad Apples is with us. He's in here first. What's up, Bill? Thanks for joining the show. It is a happy Tuesday. 
Um, and I mean, I really appreciate you coming back. I, seeing you in here is great. Dave Williams is with us. Dave said hello to me earlier. Thank you so much, Dave, for the kind words, and thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Lamont is back with us. Hey, what's up? From Stay Loaded Transport. Listen, guys, if you've got a company, product, or service that you want to talk about, shout it from the rooftops. Say it here in the live chat. Come on the show, interview, join the live panel, and tell me about your company, product, or service. Everybody's welcome here. Uh, we got Artie Champ. What's up from Raleigh? Welcome back, Artie. Thanks for coming back. Uh, Kimberly is, is monitoring on the back end. Looks good. Audio's a little grainy at times, okay? <clears throat> That's interesting, so keep me posted. If it's too loud, if it's too quiet, if it's, uh, are we getting square waves? No, you don't want square waves. Uh, Lamont says we're good. The one and only's back. What's up, the one and only, man? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Peterbilt 379 is here. Hey, Peterbilt 379 is back. Uh, Lachey Bickham, what's up? All right, listen. And again, if you are new to the show, or maybe you've just been here once or twice, I welcome you back. I appreciate you coming back. This is a community and an ecosystem, and it, it's building. We're growing, and we're sharing. So it's cool, man. Um, Niles is with us. Okay, the Niles says the sound is great. Niles is our guest tonight. Um, so that's awesome. Wonderful. Miguel Valley. What's up, Miguel? Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure to see you in here. Thanks for tuning in. Brian Pepson is here. Hello from Pennsylvania. Travel restrictions in place. Yeah, we got another icy, crazy, cold day happening tomorrow, Wednesday, in many areas. I know um, Hotshot Dave just posted he's in California, looked sunny, nice, he's getting a tan on uh, just from like here, here from here up, okay? All right, so, um, and noon tomorrow, Eastern PA, no doubles or empty trailers getting ready for the three inches of snow. And you guys know this, listen, when they do the travel restrictions, you got to follow them, otherwise the governors come out and they, they don't do that, but they come and tell you, well, I think they come out and tell you to, no, I don't. I just, I read that you've seen the news stories. It's kind of weird. Um, so, and then, man, some of those videos on Facebook, crazy, scary. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, there was or is a trucking convoy going on to protest many problems in the trucking industry. Yeah, that would be Black Smoke Matters. And there's a lot of pros and cons in the, uh, in the ecosphere about, um, you know, what's going to happen what, you know, is the tactic right? Is the, you know, is, is a shutdown good? What do you guys think of the shutdown? Uh, you guys love auto transport intel? Thank you, Shaggy. You know, it's really exciting. Um, every day, I know Anthony's excited, I'm excited, and there's many people around us excited. We're talking Michael Cook. He was on the show last week. Justin Kleber. Um, and then uh, I know I'm going to meet uh, Penny from Easel si Evil Sizer. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Matt's 2019, man. Are you going to Matt's? you got to go to truckingshow.com. Sign up. It's free. It's the biggest trucking show in the U.S. It is, it's off the hook. Now, yeah, it's mostly trucking. Um, this is actually going to be a good test run because you know what? I just found out I'm going to be at AHA in the fall. So, I mean, you know, may as well get started now. Matt's is going to be awesome. I'm excited about it. I've been working on a lot of trade show marketing, gearing up for that. And um, so, man, it's awesome. Yeah, so thank you, Shaggy. Shaggy, and I'm going to be in the booth with Shaggy, too. We're going to be, man, it's going to be Interview City. And I've got media credentials. You know, I was talking about that. So I'm going to be part of the media now. I'm, now, I'm, now I'm part of the problem, as if that's a first. Okay, Purveyor of Odd Things is with us. What's up, Purveyor of Odd Things? Pete K, need an auto carrier boat. Man, it's flooding. Yeah, dude. Wow, it's crazy. Nature's gone crazy. Nature's gone crazy transport, LLC. Now in your neighborhood. Shore Dispatch is with us. Hey, Jay, made it on. Made it on time, this video. Yeah, cool, man. Shore Dispatch. That's Richard. And, um, yeah, if you are looking for a dispatcher... Check out Shore Dispatch, man. Richard is taking on drivers right now. And it, listen, if you if you do talk to somebody that I recommend, tell them ATI sent you. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, you don't have to keep it a secret, dude. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to talk about it. But ATI sent me. You can do that, or you can't, or you you know whatever you want to do. But dude, if you tell them ATI sent you, they'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it, and uh, that's what this community is all about. 
Go to Matt's and Louisville Truck Show in March. Yeah, man. Uh, in fact, speaking of, Shaggy had Kenny Long on his show live today. Dude, do you know Kenny Long? Trucking with Authority? Man, he is a, he's got some serious knowledge. Like, when I watch a pro YouTuber throwing down major, like, YouTube knowledge of how to grow your channel, I saw that today when I saw Kenny Long speaking on uh, Shaggy's Consulting and Training, Freedom to Learn Movement Network. It was awesome. Awesome stuff, man. Um, you got to tap into Shaggy. I, man, dude, <laughs> if you don't want to learn about trucking, that's fine. Stay with car hauling. I get that. But I'm telling you, you can learn a lot by looking at sister industries. Man, I'll, I'll watch the stock market if I think it's going to improve my life. Uh, which I don't know if it does. Pull Dog is in the snow. He's buried in Kansas. What's up, Chris from Pull Dog Transport? Dude, I've been sharing Chris's videos. And um, I know it's hard to stay on a video schedule when you're a driver. That's part of the reason why, as a dispatcher, I'm like, I'm a media guy already, and I'm like, I'm furious over dispatching. I'm going to start cranking out the videos, and, um, you know, I get it, man. It's hard. So, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Chris. It's awesome. Mark from Trucking Answers says, hello. What's up? I, I just went right. I did it. I did it like a conjunction sentence. I do that. I get talking. I get amped up. You know, I've had too much coffee, and um, so Mark from Trucking Answers is here. He says hello from the Winter Weather Advisory, and he had uh, Mark. You had video today. Um, I shared that as well, and I liked. I like doing that. That's what makes it a channel. Is that it, I'm not an island. This is inclusive. I don't believe in exclusive media content strategy. We're not doing that here. It's inclusive. You're welcome to come here. Uh, DP Dispatch Services says hello. What's up, DP Dispatch? Davison is a dispatcher, and so he's got dispatch information and a link to my website, which I'm always a big fan of. If you want to put a link on your site to Auto Transport Intel, share the knowledge and help people out, let me know. Let's hook up. Autotransportintel at gmail.com. By the way, if you haven't already hit the like button, now is as good a time as any. Brian says them 10 truckers protesting should get lots of coverage. <laughs> uh, did you see what Brian did there? That was good, Brian. It's pretty good. Pretty smart. Uh, American Veterans Auto Transport says hello. Well, hello to you. Thanks for introducing yourself to me and being a part of the community. It's awesome. And, um, yeah, if you've, got, if you've got broker questions, American Veterans is here for you. Uh, man, I love all this show. Best show on YouTube. Gosh darn it, Shaggy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, I'm thankful for you guys joining me. I'm thankful for this community. I'm thankful for the show. It really means a lot. Honestly, I've been trying to make a successful show for like 20 plus years. That is no joke. So, I mean, I'm just super thrilled about it. It's awesome. And so, you know, if, if I've talked to you recently about joining the show and, you know, advertising or being on the show, I really do mean it. Um, I'm here when you're ready. You don't have to do it today. But I think that this show, I think we're on to something. I really believe in what's happening. Um, and Shaggy says the sound is great. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Let's see, I got about another five or ten minutes till we get into industry news, so that's really cool. And I love saying hello to the live chat. It means so much for you guys to be here. And that the audio's working and the live stream is still going and the technology's holding, you know. You ever feel that way when you're driving? I bet you do. Like, oh man, the wheels are still running and the, the cars are still up there. The windshield hasn't splashed out and, you know, like, all right, it's working. Uh, Lachey Beckham says, thanks, I'm just getting it. Beckham. Lachey says, thanks, I'm just getting into the car hauling business, trying to get all the information I can to be successful. You know what's super cool is that because so many people have said what you're saying now, uh, we created CTS Business Coaching. You can go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com. CTS is Car Transport Services. Now, ctsbusinesscoaching.com is designed to offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for your new car hauling business. But if you have other questions about being a broker or dispatching, we're expanding. And now, Ty is doing one-on-one -on -one training for car haulers. So, I mean, we have we've started... I don't know how many car hauler training schools there are. If there are any, there is only a few. 
Um, there might be a couple other programs out there. Yeah, there must be. There's got to be at least one. But there aren't many places you can go to actually learn hands-on car hauling training. And listen, I get it. There are guys that have been doing this since I was just a little pee in the pod, and I get it. So, you know, um, and it, but if they can help you, if you can, if they can take time from their busy schedule to train you, awesome. We're not trying to be the end-all, be-all, but we are somewhere that you can go to learn this business and get, get help. Because you need strategic business coaching. I mean, we, we all do. No matter what we do, no matter what we're getting, getting into, we need orientation, understanding of what's around us, and how to build our business. And unfortunately, for a lot of people, that's a guy standing at a truck stop waving a bunch of $100 bills. I don't know who this guy is, but he's got a ton of money, and he is not helping everybody. And so if you've run into that guy and it's not working, CTS Business Coaching, we're here to help. This message is held for review. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's let that go. Okay, so... Uh, Peterbilt, are we allowed to promote YouTube channels? If so, y'all should go support my man. Get Comfy Trucking. He just started doing the YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, man. Everybody is welcome here to promote their products, company, and services. So check out Get Comfy Trucking. I'm going to check it out. In fact, what I'm going to do is... So here's what I do. I'll make a note. Get Comfy Trucking. And then I'm just going to leave it there. Okay? Okay, there we go. I'll leave it there. I'm not going to check it out now. I'm in the middle of an important show. Okay, so let's see here. It's Tuesday night. Um, DOT officer told me today that hours of service is changing next year. Wishful thinking? Well, <clears throat> here's the deal. The FMCSA, this is my understanding, and anything I say at any time can be wrong, um, So, but I'm going to say this with my understanding. My understanding is that the FMCSA has been holding listening sessions and is... I, I think they're really trying to figure out how to improve hours of service so that it works for everybody. ELD is not going away, all right? The ELD is here to stay. The future is, is marching in. AI, robots, automated trucking, driverless trucking, it's all going to happen. So the ELD is here to stay. But in order not to want to throw that thing out the window, the hours of service might need to be tweaked and updated because there's almost no ELD exemptions. I mean, that's EL, ELD exemptions is that pie in the sky, that silver lining that you never actually get to experience. You hear about it, you're like, man, yeah, I've heard of unicorns, but I just ain't never caught one. Well, that's kind of ELD exemptions. So hours of service, my understanding is that hours of service, it needs to be improved because the proof is in emergency situations every time we have a national emergency they they call off like ELD exemptions for people in the national emergency why is that because it's hard to conduct the most efficient level of business with the current hours of service and I think the FMCSA knows that and I realize there's gonna be people oh Jay you don't know what you're talking about and it's possible I'm not in a truck that's obvious so I don't actually fill out an ELD, right? I fill it out. Look at this. See, clearly he doesn't fill out an ELD because this is not how you fill out an ELD. I'm the host of a show where we talk about car hauling. And I used to be a dispatcher, and man, do I know what pain feels like. Whew. Okay. All right. Hey, Havoc Dynamics is with us. That's awesome. I'm really glad that you, you know... You gave me a um, double quotation or a double comma or whatever that is. because Maybe that's like a, an animal mark. It's, I got animal tracks. Havoc Dynamics and Nate, PC, and IT have really helped me out. I ran into a jam. You guys know that a few, a few shows ago, my laptop crashed because my laptop needed a Band-Aid. And um, Nate hooked me up. Um, I've got a, I've got a better, it's still a used laptop. It's way faster. He's also given me some pointers about, in fact, I'm implementing some of those OBS pointers tonight and, uh, not at a hundred percent level of success, I might add. But anyways, I thank you. Havoc Dynamics. Really appreciate that. Big shout out. Hey, and also before I forget, dude, shout out and prayers for Jeff's mom. Okay. Pray for Jeff's mom. Pray for Jeff, going through hard times at the moment, very difficult times. And so, you know, I, I just, I really want Jeff to know that 
We're glad he's a part of our community. Our thoughts are with him. And we'll hope for the best. And, you know, uh, God bless, Jeff. Okay. Uh, Sean says, Ocean Roads is live from Cape Coral, Florida. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in, Sean. You know, I dispatched for Sean for a while. And, um, in fact, Sean, I think, I think Sean even switched up his trailer mix. I don't know what's going on. So, that's cool, man. Uh, so keep us posted, Sean. And, I, and he emails me occasionally. Again, if there's if there's an update with a broker or, or a load board, or you see something, anything that you think should be car hauling news on Jay's show on Auto Transport Intel, send me an email. Autotransportintel at gmail.com. LOL, I got my beer ready for the protest parade in Indianapolis. Don't you guys, I love those memes that say, hold my beer. I love that stuff, man. Hold my beer. No, man, I'm holding it. Hey, Chris from Pearl Dog is a rock star. That's man, that is cool. You know what, Chris? You got a lot of, of thumbs up and props for the videos and advice you're you're sharing and giving. So keep on doing it, man. That's awesome, dude. And uh, let's see. I get your pictures. Uh, hashtag call car hauler kingpin from the Stack Bundles Trucking Show. I haven't seen Stack Bundles. Uh, in a while, I see you occasionally in here. Thanks for tuning in. I got to tell you guys, you know, before I started Auto Transport Intel, I was watching trucking YouTubers, right? A lot. There's a lot of freight haulers that are in their trucks making YouTube shows. Party Hard to Trucker, uh, Red Viking Trucker, um, I forget the names of some, SoCal Trucker, uh... Trucker Brown, Low Sean Parks, um, man, there's a lot of guys, and um, then there's the trucking vlog with Josh. Anyway, and there, there's a, there's a lot of freight hauler YouTubers, and um, and I've watched a lot of those shows. I don't have time to watch them anymore. You know, we all go through chapters in life, but hopefully that you know this chapter is a chapter that you welcome, you tune in. Uh, Occasionally on Tuesday nights, join the show. So thank you, Stack Bundles. It's really cool. I'm learning from Kenny Long. I'm learning from Kenny Long. I am learning from Kenny Long. That is a true statement. He is amazing. Hey, Truckify Inc. is back. What's up? Truckify.com, car hauling app. Watching your great show, bro. Thank you, Truckify. That is cool. And you know what? We're talking about car hauling software tonight. In fact, I got to tell you, man, there's a bunch of car hauling software to talk about. We got, man, we got serious car hauling software coming in our future it's pretty cool it's about time because there's just man i mean we have we're stuck with the same old stuff i'm t i'm tired of it are you tired of it all right stack bundles trucking g show message retracted okay what's shore info all right epic's already in there hey richard uh shore dispatch you got a question from epic i'll tell you what epic um because I don't have, let me see if I can, let's just see if I can do this real quick. Shore, shore dispatch MD at gmail.com. All right, so there it is. Shore dispatch MD for Maryland at gmail.com. Boom, there it is. Okay, Muzi, how are you, brother? You coming to the truck show? I think so, man. I think we got so many people coming to the, to the uh, mats 2019. It's amazing. Looking for a dispatcher. That's awesome. Are there cars in here? I don't know. Are there cars in here? Is this where we get the cars? <laughs> oh, Ty. Oh, man. I have such a great time talking to Ty. So great. You know, when you can when you can find a business partner that is, you know, uh, thoughtful and smart and insightful and, and, like, man, i tell you what. If I ever say to Ty... Got somebody to call you. He's like, what is the number? He is just hitting the phone, man. I love that. God, that's every company needs that. Somebody to just hit the phones. Um, Pull dog stacks. That'd be great. Super duty for me. Says happy Tuesday. Hey, what's up? Super duty for me. Gamer OU Weston. What's up? Gamer OU Weston. That's cool. Way cool. I said this is a family show. This is a family show. Trucking is a family business. And this is a family show. Uh, Shaggy, I love trucking.com. Go Moozy. Truckify. It's truck. I believe it's Truckify. Uh, let's see here. Love paying taxes because it means I'm making money. 
Okay, that's a, you know, that, now that's a heck of a silver lining. I like that. That's good stuff. Because I've never looked at it that way. I just looked at it as, dang it, I'm paying taxes. At my safety audit, they told me changes are coming, Pitbull. Wow. Man, that, man, that's a, did you, did that give you the trots? Okay, hey, Shaggy, my man, how are you doing, bud? That's the plan to attend the show in Kentucky. Amen. Go for programmer saying hello. Hey, that's cool. What's up, Isaac Dawson? A go for programmer is here. That's way cool, man. Uh, Dave Williams has pictures of vehicles, cars for pi or tie. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're making, I made money, didn't pay $1 to taxes for the business. That's interesting. Hey, what's up, Dave? None of them are car haulers but me. Yeah, it's true, Stack Bundles. That's true. Well, that's, that's what made me think of it. Because I've seen your, I've seen your YouTube show. Th that's how far back. Uh, I know you've been doing it longer than I have. Um, and you know, and 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 man, good on you. You know, for doing that, for paving the way. Um, I mean, it really helped me seeing a lot of guys making YouTube videos. And I real, actually, I realized I'm like, well, I gotta, I, I gotta do it from the desk because that's my. These, these computer monitors, that's my windshield, right? This is where, man, I'm here constantly, just constantly, from a.m. to p.m. And, uh, oh, I had a car hauler in my dream last night. It was weird. We were, it was Don. Don from, uh, Don Clute was in my dream last night. We were actually, I don't know what we were doing. We were in a city, and we were trying to get somewhere, and he had, like, some kind of hand sled, and we were going somewhere. It's crazy, man. At least I wasn't booking cars, man. I used to dream of booking cars, and it wasn't good. I'd call it a nightmare. Uh, let's see. Moosey, come to the booth and hang as my guest. Have Justin get you on our banner. Short dispatch. I need your info. I just found you on Instagram, so I'm following you. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I like being um, multi-social media. Uh, I now have, you know, this is on, we're on YouTube right now. We're only live on YouTube right now. These videos are on YouTube. You know, I do a lot of Facebook posts. And then after the show, I always do an Instagram. And then on Wednesdays, after I post my show on YouTube and do Facebook, then I also do a Twitter, uh, tweet. I do a Twitter. Oh, man, it's terrible. I do a tweet and then, um, and then I post on LinkedIn. So those are my five. I'm kind of keeping it at that. I do have a Pinterest page. I don't really know what what I what I would do with Pinterest. I mean, there's a lot of great car hauling pictures, but I just don't really have the time to manage all those photos. But um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the rundown. And Twitch, I have I think I have two Twitch followers, which is really cool. I put some videos on Twitch. I made a page. Um, but I, what I really want to do when I get some more time and money is I want to play some of those live. We need a, we need a car hauling video game. Uh, and I want to play the live car hauling video game. I'll go live on Twitch and be like a pro car hauling video gamer. And then I'll actually be a driver. Hey, what's up? Game Row U Weston, this is Daddy O. Epic says thanks. This message is held. Okay, yeah, there's the short dispatch email address. Sam. What? Uh, let's see. Oh, I lost my place. Hey, what's up, Jay Gibso? Transportation here. What's up, Why, Sean? Welcome back to the show, man. You were on the show, gosh, that was probably a year ago. Um, and I appreciate you checking in. And I think you've also, yeah, you've talked to Ty at CTS. Justin is great, Shaggy. Thanks, my audio is a little behind the chat. Yeah, I'm actually a little behind the chat. We do, man, a lot of people, the show will be off the chain. It is, it's going to be off the chain. I like that expression. Um, Sam Farr says, what's up? Hey, Sam, what's going on, man? We got your ad running this month, and I um, hope you're getting those leads. I, I know you're getting some. I don't know how many, but it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out after a month. That's cool, man. Uh, I'm glad you said this is a family show because I'm your son. Well, it's true, Gamer OU Weston. You are my son. My media son and my actual son. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So thanks for joining the show. I'm glad you can make it. Uh, Truckify Inc., we provide dispatch services. Call or text. 15 years experience. There you go. You got a phone number. You got another dis. We got all kinds of dispatchers up in this show. Um, Gwen says hello. Hey, what's up, Gwen? Welcome to the show. 
Awesome. Let us know if we can help. We're here to share information. We're building a community and a network. And, and, and I honestly, I don't know everybody tuning in, which is great. Um, I want you guys to feel welcome. And then so we can all start to learn more about each other. Honestly, I, I'm going to say the good 10% of the chat, I don't think we, we're not on a first name basis yet, but we should change that. You can always email me if you have a question, if you want to get in the CTS network, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And don't forget, you can hit that like button anytime. Uh, what's up, Sam? Yeah, Sam is with Pelican Trucking Insurance. If you've got a trucking insurance question, you want to talk to Sam at Pelican Trucking Insurance. His information is coming up soon. Uh, let's see. I love cutting my dispatcher big checks. The more money in his pockets, the more money in mine. Now, that sounds like a dispatching commercial. Hand sled. Too much information. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was, like, it was like a hand sled. I don't know what it was. Uh, what's up, everyone? Hey, Matt from Anytime Towing up in Vermont is with us. And this is a great live. Cool, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. They have a repo video game. It's called Grand Theft Auto. Well, you know, do they do any car hauling in Grand Theft Auto? I don't think so. And I don't think there's any car hauling in Heavy Trucking Simulator either. Looking for a car hauling video game. Uh, and Shaggy is Shaggy. It's the freedom to learn movement. You're knowledgeable on hot shotting. With some things, that's why I have a business partner named Ty. He was a driver for 20 years. And, oh, let me say this. If you're talking hot shotting freight, well, that's why I've got a partner named Shaggy. Because Shaggy, if you want to know about freight, Shaggy's got you covered. If you want to know about car hauling, Auto Transport Intel is the car hauling business channel for you. Absolutely. We got you covered. Thank you, Jay and Ty, for the thoughts, prayers, and love for my mother. You are welcome, Jeff. We love having you on our community. And, um... You know, this uh, in this roller coaster of life, we go up, we go down, we go sideways, get jogged around. Something good happens, something bad happens. You guys watch like the, remember MTV and VH1 behind the music? Every time something good happens, something bad happens. And then something good happens. And then something goes sideways. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So we're, you know, we're here. You're, we're, we're glad you're here with us along for the ride. And we're with you. Yes, sir, wouldn't have seen as much success as I have if it wasn't for your coaching advice and referrals. Big thanks to you and your channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Because if we weren't helping people, it just wouldn't be the same. This would not be the same thing that we were that we were trying to create. It means a lot, so thank you very much for that. Shagging Consulting and Training Group on Facebook for everything not car hauling. That's right. If it ain't a car... Shaggy Consulting and Training. If it is a car, Auto Transport Intel. We got it. We we got that figured out. American Truck Simulator is a car hauling video game. Is it? All right. Well, awesome. Then I'm on the right track. Ameri okay, not yeah, not trucking simulator. American Truck Simulator. Dude, awesome. If you think of it, will you send me a link to that specific so I get the right game? Because there's many trucking simulators. You can email me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And by the way, man, you should come on the show. We should get... Who wants to get Stack Bundles Trucking on the show? I want to get him on the show. He needs to be a, a, a special guest. You need to be a special guest. Hey, what's up, Ty? This is Marcellus, the first student through CTS Car Hauling Training School. It's no doubt Marcellus trained one-on-one -on -one with Ty. If you want to know how Ty's car hauling training went, ask Marcellus at the J Group. Uh, Mark, computer programmer from Go4. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Mark? Welcome to the show. That's awesome. Um, how do I go about turning my pickup truck into a hot shotting business? Here's what you do. Send send us an email to autotransportintel at gmail.com. I need your name, your phone number, email address, and I'll bring you into the CTS business coaching uh, contact database. And then we're, you're going to get an email, you're going to get a phone call from Ty, and it's just a conversation. Let's figure out what we need to talk about. Do you fit in our coaching? Do we need to refer you over to someone like Shaggy? We'll help you get it figured out. But at least now you have somewhere you can go. Where do you go with your questions? How do you learn if this is the right thing for you? Listen, it may not be the right thing for you. We talk about that too. Probably one out of ten people we talk to, 
listen, man, this is probably not a good idea, okay? You know, you, you spent your life building toys. Um, you don't, you know, you don't, you've never worked outside. Um, you're totally not mechanically inclined. This may not be the business for you. But if you are working on getting into car hauling or trucking or hot shotting, give us an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. We'll help you get it figured out. And now we have a starter kit containing referral partners. Man, it's going crazy. Um, I hear so many great things about CTS from my guys. You have to call them. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. That's really cool. Yes, you do. Shaggy and Jay is a big help. I watch you all the time, and I love Shaggy's class last week, and I talked to you while I was there. That's cool. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've interacted with Shaggy's class a couple times, and I can't, you know, man, we go to Matt's. Oh, my gosh, it's going to be hard to keep track of everybody I meet and talk to, but I want to. I really do. So, uh, because, again, it's, it's important. This community, it's important. So, all right, you guys, here's what we're going to do. It is 837. We're going to jump into the industry news, and um, it's not going to be a super long segment, so that should work out all right. You know, industry news, I like to share the funny stuff and the information, but I like to, you know, add, as if there wasn't enough comedy yet. <laughs> okay. All right, don't mind us. We're just making sure you get your new iPhone on time. <laughs> It's important to remember, you know, you see these things mentioned on Facebook, but it's just truckers most of the time talking about it, in that, does everybody realize how important trucking, cargo, freight, and trucks in general are to this society? Oh my gosh. Because, I mean, you know, you can place the order on Amazon, but if it doesn't get to you, whew, what are you going to do? <clears throat> All of the truckers. You guys always act like you're better than me in the car haulers <laughs> in, their, in their top hats. I know it feels like it's a segmented industry. You got trucking and you got car hauling. That's how a lot of people see it and feel about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm crossing over. That's it. I'm the medium. I'm like uh, Jennifer Love Hugh. No, I'm not. Okay. So the truck route is that way. Oh, but there's no trucks. Uh, car haulers do it better with straps and chains. Attention truckers, Jake brakes are illegal. Now, why would anybody pay to put up that? What in the world? Really? That's the best use of your dollars? Oh, right. Here's your problem. Your radiator cap is attached to a piece of garbage. Okay, you guys know I keep it clean. This is a G-rated family show. All right, I got YouTube and Google and all that, you know, and speech to text. What? <laughs> Big brother. Oh, not again. My boss arrived at work in a brand new Lamborghini, and he said, I said, wow, that's an amazing car. And he said, if you work hard, put all your hours in, and strive for excellence, I'll get another one next year. So then, as I'm, I'm like, all right, do I say this is how I feel about my previous job? I don't know. Um, oh, okay, so listen. If, you, if you're tired of buying your boss another Lamborghini, start to learn. All right, here, number two, flexible deals. For ultimate flexibility as an owner-operator, seek out a company that lets you choose your loads and freight rates. The thing to bear in mind about freight, cars, trucking, is that it's an it's the need for drivers is endless you're the driver you're the carrier you have the power you're the one that moves the cargo never feel obligated to take a load that conflicts with your own schedule without compensation for your troubles and by the way that means making stupid promises and guarantees that you're going to get to your hair appointment and it's easy peasy and there'll be a pepperoni pizza in the passenger seat ready for you with extra crispy crust and jalapenos and double cheese and... Okay, I think I made my point. So study, you know, learn, right? Know your numbers. Make a spreadsheet. Make a list of your costs. Make a list of all your expenses as much as you can. Then figure out your monthly revenue. And are you making it? I mean, are you making money? Are you making it a day? Are you making it a month? Are you making it in the aggregate? 
You know, does your summer season make up for your winter season? So there we go. That's what this show's all about. That's what we're all about here. Information. Uh, oh, yeah, here's some information. Hey, Mike, it looks like you turned in your driver appreciation coupon, but the receipt you turned in was for a liquor store, not for a meal. I'm guessing you turned in the wrong receipt? Okay. Lori. <laughs> Lori. Okay. Dispatch be like, appointment still good for 6 a.m.? It makes me think of a couple brokers I worked with when I was dispatching. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I like this one. We go the extra mile because we missed the last exit. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Um, now, somebody said, now is that DOT? Does he have any DOT? Any DOT? I guess no DOT plates, no MC number. So, yeah. That's a growing business. It's just, but it's time. You need CTS business coaching. Um, I had this sent to me last night out of Elkridge, Maryland. I'd be surprised if he made it out of the entrance of the auction. <clears throat> so, so that's where I tell you what, you know what I think of when I see this picture, I think of when I was really young at dispatching, like that first month, I had no idea what it meant. I had no idea what overhang meant. I didn't. So you know why? Because, I, I mean, there wasn't anybody to really help me learn the finer points. Did you know that I have a dispatcher training series? Oh, man. You got questions about dispatching? Check out my dispatcher training series. It's off the hook. And it's still free. I think it'll probably be free. I don't think it'll be free next year. I'm just saying. Um, I'm trying to put money back in this channel. Right now, it's totally free. So check it out and enjoy it and learn. This guy's having a bad day, like, whew, but he should have had a fifth wheel. You hear that. Um, there's some advice for you. If you're thinking kingpin versus fifth wheel, think again. Um, I know it's not, it's, you know, it's everything's a, on a budget based on what you can afford, what you can do. But, um, yeah, there's uh, that, that, that can happen. And if you're in freight, you got to know this, you know, there's a lot to know. Know about your steer, your drive, your tandems. I mean, you know, you got a shaggy. I bet you shaggy's hitting this kind of stuff constantly. That Now, he's in, in the office training dispatchers. But as a dispatcher, you have to understand many of the aspects that the driver has to understand. So when they tell you things, listen. Learn, listen, and learn. All right. Uh, what else we got here? For everyone I care about, please take Texas 225 in Houston and not I-10 West until this column is repaired or replaced. Yeah, it's interesting. I've heard about this. I mean, dude, I, I think it was like at least a year ago that there are there are issues. Um, I'm going to keep this you know, so that the governor of Texas doesn't give me a call. But I understand, I've heard, that near Houston, there are some sketchy construction situations. I've never seen this picture before. That is, uh, that's going to be a problem. That's not going to be good. You don't want to be the guy. Well, there was just that news story. I think that guy, I think that was ice and snow related in Wisconsin, slid off the bridge, and they had to fish his truck out of the water, the ice water. Oh, look at that. See, that's what you can do with that old uh, old truck that, you know, is just sitting around. Make a cute little waterfall. Okay, that is industry news. See, wasn't that fun? That was a pretty good time. Oh, no way. It's 845. That's off the hook. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, first, I'm going to I'm going to go to industry news. No, I'm going to go to, all right, I just, oh, I'm going to go to, uh, all right, we're going to question of the day. And you see how the video's kind of off kilter? That's to remind me to switch the camera. Okay. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay, there we go. We're going to do that. See, that was another thing I forgot to do. Dang it. Okay, but I got the, uh, okay, got the camera. I got the camera switched. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got the camera switched, all right? So now that I got the camera switched, it's time to ask you the camera switch question of the day. I just made that up. Okay. Like when you when you're watching you know when you're watching the Super Bowl and they're like and now the Taco Bell stat of the moment okay well this is the camera switched question of the day I don't know so anyways I'm gonna ask a question of the day what 
auto carrier software are you using and can it handle fi finished vehicle logistics? Well, what, what's finished vehicle logistics? All right, OEM car hauling. All right, what's OEM? What, what, what about new cars? You mean I can't haul new cars with the same old stuff? Well, I don't know. Can you? We're going to learn more about it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to, after this advertising break, we're going to meet uh, Niles of Gopher Auto Carrier Software. We're going to learn more about it. All right, here comes Sam Farr with Pelican Trucking Insurance. This one's for you, Sam. Hey, hey guys, Jay at Auto Transport, Transport Intel here. Listen. You're looking for insurance. You've got your equipment. It's time to get insurance so that you can begin the process of getting towards hauling cars. So where do you go? What do you do? When you need insurance, who can you talk to? Well, head on over to Pelican Trucking Insurance and you want to talk to Sam. Now, Sam is a friend of the show. And again, it's PelicanTruckingINS.com, Pelican Trucking Insurance. Go to the web page, scroll down, you'll find the phone number. There's a phone number, 225-308-9882. You can talk to Sam Farr. Now, it's S. Farr at LemoyneInsurance.com, but he is with Pelican Trucking Insurance, and he wants to answer your questions. He wants to talk to new car haulers. He wants to talk to established car haulers, too, that are looking for a better rate. If you're unhappy with your insurance rate or you don't have a quote yet and you need a new insurance quote, Head on over to Pelican Trucking Insurance, PelicanTruckingINS.com. Ask for Sam Farr. You can send him an email, put in a phone call. And again, you're looking for an insurance agent you can get on the phone, you can talk to, you can get advice from. What kind of a deductible do you need? How much insurance do you need per vehicle? What about automotive liability insurance? It's your liability and your cargo. That's what you need. So you can get on the road hauling cars, get set up with the brokers on the load boards, or if you're talking to a dealership direct, they're gonna ask about your insurance. So go ahead and talk to Pelican Trucking Insurance, ask for Sam, I know he wants to talk to you. Again, here's his phone number, I'm gonna scroll down on the page, pelicantruckingins.com, call Sam, 225-308-9882, send him an email, S far at lemoineinsurance.com you can also find him on facebook and instagram and he's waiting for your call i'm jay at auto transport intel and i approve this message Okay, now you can hear me. See, I did it again. You guys can hear me now. You couldn't hear me for a second there. That's okay. Because um, I'm switching it up. But as you can see, the reason I switched it up is that the transition in and out of the video ad was smoother. So, so that's way cool. Okay, so let's add some lower thirds here. Niles, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? All right, I can hear you. I can hear you good. And I can, the video looks clean. I think we got a good connection. All right, sounds good. All right, awesome. So listen, man, welcome to Auto Transport Intel. Um, you are Niles, your name is on the screen. You've got a product called Gopher. We're gonna talk about the entomology and meaning of the name in a minute, but please tell us more about Gopher Auto Carrier Software. All right, so Gopher Auto Carrier Software is a TMS solution that essentially helps companies that whether they do POV movements or OEM movements help grow their company by managing all parts of their company from uh, creating orders to dispatching to customer service and automating that to the point to where when you do something it's just like ordering something off Amazon they know when it's picked up they know when it's delivered they get their photos and that's the nutshell of the company but there's so many different features and um, sets that we can do so uh best way to think of it the main core competency of what we do is edi connections with manufacturers right okay so and and within that okay so there's a lot there so to unpack that <laughs> there is 
And to unpack that, um, we're gonna we are also we're gonna see some screenshots after mm -hmm. we do some more describing of what the auto auto carrier software is and what makes yours special. I think you were telling me is that I mean you're a customization shop, right? Yeah, yeah. So we started off at we've been in the freight industry since the beginning, and then about 20 years ago, a client approached us, hey, we want to start moving cars, and so we started to develop the software, and and that progressed over. The many years and then now you know the last five six years we started to develop gopher and that's one of the biggest things for us is working with carriers to make a software that works for carriers right and so okay and um gopher you've i mean you're searchable i you're you're online i i saw your domain i don't know when it was but i mean you're you're there your product how long has gopher been around Gopher has been around on the market for about three years, a um, little bit more than that, but uh, it started development about five, six years ago. Okay. And so then let's say I'm a, let's say I'm just randomly searching around for car hauling software. I find Gopher. Can I, is there somewhere I can go to download and try out your out of the box solution? Um, it's not necessarily an out-of-box solution okay. because it is software as a service. Okay, so, so you're more of a customization shop where you're you're working with companies to make sure that I mean there's a con there's a connection there. You're making sure yeah. that right that it's exactly a and you know ninety nine percent of it's always there for most companies, but you always have a company that says, hey, it'd be really nice if it could do this one thing, and. Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's big. The bigger projects, they take longer, but the small things, it's like, oh, okay, well, here you go. Just like we released a feature earlier this week, well, yesterday, actually, for a client, and they signed up a week ago, so they're happy. <laughs> and that's, I, I like that in that, I mean, you're really in touch with the customer. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, because it, and that's a big part of really any software is that yeah. no matter what we use, I mean, you can get mm -hmm. frustrated with your accounting software. You can get mm -hmm. frustrated with, I mean, there's all, and so you wanna be able to be in touch with sales, service, and support to make yeah. sure that your product is working the way you need it to work. And that's what you do. Well, absolutely, and you know, custom programming and programming in general always comes second to us. Customer service is number one. Yeah, and so, and there's, an, there's a cost associated with that. Uh, of course. Right. I mean, this, and so it's almost like um, those terms like boutique and cottage industry come to mind. I mean, you are a you're a hands-on service provider. Exactly. Okay. All right. So you don't get a robot when you call us. <laughs> right. And that's cool. So, yeah. and now, if you okay, let's assume, let's say, okay, we're talking about fleets that need out of the box or custom solutions and within fi finished vehicle logistics, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell us more about finished vehicle logistics. Okay. So finished vehicle logistics, typically when you are approaching a manufacturer, they're going to say, well, what do you use? Can we do EDI with them? Can we electronically give you your cars? And then when you move them, we automatically get notified of those movements, automatically get invoiced of those movements. And then we can basically track everything from womb to tomb for the um, manufacturer. So when you're talking about finished vehicle logistics, the backbone of it is EDI. Okay, and so that's the thing is that, and by the way, I had some questions of sound. Is the sound okay? Oh, I lost, okay, I'm, I'm told that we lost some audio. But maybe, okay. I think that was, is that an old message? Lost audio, that was 849. I think the audio is back, the audio, are we, are we okay on audio? Now Are we good here? I'm gone. Check, check. I have I've got to go. Check check. And by the way, let me while we're doing this audio check, um, uh, we got a um, we got a super chat from Candy at Seaport Service, and I really appreciate that, Candy. Um, it means a lot. It, that really helps the channel. Um, now, I mean, I'm seeing. Okay, we're good on sound. Okay, I think it was just okay. very. I think it was when I switched over before I brought you on that I had the audio. Oh yeah. Now. Okay, the audio is great. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. It means a lot. <laughs> Definitely. Like, I would be like, okay, we got to do it all over. Okay. So the question is, is that um, oh, Tater Chip is with us. What's up? Um, the question is, okay, if you're a new car hauler, is finished vehicle logistics 
different from used car hauling? Well, yes, it depends on the manufacturer. It's not a one size fits all when you're talking about finished vehicle logistics because different manufacturers have different requirements. Um, my core competency is the finished vehicle side. Right. So uh, when it comes to POV movements, we have many carriers that do POV with us. Um, and it's a lot more um, simple in the sense that you don't have to do what uh, they're called AIAG codes. Right. It's a standard code okay. where you have this five letter or five number code that you have to give the manufacturer when there's damage versus saying, hey, there's damage right here and there and there on the car and tapping on your screen or your, <laughs> if you're still on pen and paper on the um, BOL. So when it comes to damage claims, absolutely. And when it comes to um, volume and um, so your flow of basically, hey, come get these cars. You know, you don't have to use load boards. You get cars assigned to you automatically. So when they're ready, come get them. I want to say this. Thank you, Epic, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. You're going to see me. I'll tell you, it means a lot to me when I get a super chat. So I want to call attention to it right now. And to get your money's worth, what I want to do is you just said, Niles, you just said several terms. And I like to make sure everybody knows yeah. what the terms are. Yeah. All right. Definitely. So let's go through them. So. First, uh, you, did, you said POV. We're talking personally owned vehicles, mm -hmm. like residential moves, right? Yeah. Whereas a dealership and an auction, those are not POVs yeah. usually. Although a dealership mm -hmm. to a person, is that a POV? A deal, dealer to resident? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, auction, like uh, auction to dealer, that's a POV. Okay. Um, because mm. they're... When I talk about finished vehicle logistics, this is brand new cars, whether they're imported into the country or whether they're you pick them at the manufacturing plant. Okay, and that's where AIAG, is that right? Mm -hmm. Comes yes. in. Okay, those are codes. That's a higher level of inspection where a new car, you have to have a lot higher level of standard of inspection. And AIAG is the name of that level of standard. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And so instead of just going scratch, dent, chip, you yeah. are, you're marking down specific codes that relate to specific damages on specific parts of the car. Exactly. And that means... What is it? Where is it? And how bad? And that means, right, because there's a level. If there's a dent, oh, is it a one or a two or a three or a four? Yep. Okay. Exactly. And, and that information is critical to the maker or, mm -hmm. right... Whether yeah. or not you're actually going to move that car, because if it, yeah. right, okay, and so that, and so that's where finished vehicle logistics. That's an area where it seems that finished vehicle logistics goes beyond just normal used car hauling. So if if I I wonder this, when, I'll tell you what, honestly, when I booked loads on Central Dispatch, and I before I knew anything about AIAG and finished vehicle logistics, I'm booking a brand new truck, and we're given a little we're given a sheet with extra damage codes and whatnot and this is a used car hauler that really isn't used to this information and i'm wondering what, what are we, are we going to use this what's going to happen if this isn't done right who's that going to fall on the broker that hired that car hauler guess as good as mine <laughs> and, and meanwhile the rate I, i'll tell you that's why i don't book i don't book new vehicles anymore that pay the same amount as a used vehicle like whoa okay yeah. why would you haul a 2019 honda odyssey when you can get a 2004 chevy cruze don't do it don't yeah. do it so but anyways this information and by the way matt was kind enough he also threw in a super chat thank you so much matt it means so much to me and the channel it really does especially because I'm, I'm prepping for matt's and I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to get that. Oh, I need to get that. The list keeps growing. Um, so, um, anyways. All right, so, all right, so we got, you've got a customizable auto carrier software product for uh, companies that want to work direct and maybe specialize in finished vehicle logistics. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Is that is that about the description? Yeah, that, that's just about it. But I don't want to discount people that do POV moves okay. because it does accommodate them okay. as well as, PO, uh, as OEM movements because the OEMs is just the automation of getting information into the system and basically getting it um, 
and put through your billing process faster. Whereas the POV, you can get, you know, it's just as easy if you have a spreadsheet of bins, paste them in, create your customer profiles, and off they go. So, so it both. Part, and so there we go. So now we start talking about process. Part of the benefit of using Gopher auto carrier software is, and, and we could we could just say Gopher. I could say Gopher. I could call it an EPod. I put EPod on the screen. What's EPod? Electronic proof of delivery. So it's delivered. Here's the final say. In fact, you okay? You were telling me that it was funny to you on my last show. I put up a picture. Tell me what happened. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait, what was the picture of it? Was, oh, yeah, it was your Amazon picture yeah. where uh, they took a picture of your box at your uh, doorstep because it got delivered there. Well, we do that, but for cars. And you said, I don't know of any software that does this. And hey, <laughs> yeah, we do that. That's also awesome. So when a car is delivered, mm -hmm. you your system makes sure an email gets sent to what the delivery customer the broker whoever yeah. you want. whoever you want so you have your pickup location your delivery location and who's paying for it um so if any of their every customer profile has a notification base and you say when you want them to get notified of an event whether it be picked up delivered anything that we have set out already so if they're in the delivery field on their customer profile gets delivered here's a link here's your tracking information okay so let's that's all, man. It, it, I'll tell you what, and that's the thing is, the more I hear you talk, the more I understand that there is a lot of detail. One, we know there's a lot of detail throughout the life cycle of a of a of the move of a car, and yes. your software helps make sure that everybody involved in the process gets their part on mm -hmm. time, in detail. Yeah. So like, exactly. I mean, you can. So your your software, you've got the mobile app. Mm -hmm. And you've got a dashboard? Yes. Okay. And, and a tracking website. And a track. Has, okay. And a tracking yes. website? Yeah, that's the tracking website is where um, when the events happen, uh, like picked up or delivered, that's where they go. And I believe I sent you a screenshot of it where basically here's all the VINs on there. Here's all your information to pick up delivery. Here's every single status from the beginning of that order getting put in from BOL entry to delivered and all the pictures as well and if it has not been delivered you have the option for them to click a gps location to find out where exactly it is we skew it so it's not exact so don't freak out <laughs> we skew it but it's a general idea <laughs> wow. okay so all right so from the beginning of the life cycle if i get a load or if the driver wants to create a load those things could both happen right yeah Okay, mm -hmm. and I can assign loads, and I can uh, now. And you are we talking about? Is this designed for the single owner operator, or are we talking for fleets? Okay, so we have clients that range from three to seventy-five trucks. So the three guys, they're mainly doing POVs. They don't have OEM contracts, but uh, it works for both the owner operator. I don't think that that's necessarily a fit because the owner operators from my experience, don't get in front of a computer to create an order to dispatch it to themselves. Yeah, I agree. They don't really, what owner operators tend to do, my understanding is that it's a, if they're booking off central or if they know, let's say they know the person they're picking up for, they just somehow create a load and it doesn't go through all the parts. Whereas you have a dispatcher in multiple trucks it's a yeah. different process. You can use our system without a dispatcher, but it's not designed for that. Okay. So yours is more designed for uh, a business with several trucks, yes. right, and a dispatcher. That's how you truly get the benefit out of all the bells and whistles of your of Gopher. Right, right exactly. And what I found with carriers that sign with us that are small as they start to grow, they realize, wow, okay, this scales with my company. And that's our main mission there because we, you can be enterprise or you can be a small mom and pop that wants to start growing. You start using us and then boom, you can because it scales. And now as the dispatch manager or co-owner, when you're dealing with the headaches of, okay, I just got another order. I need to put it, I need to make sure, okay, I want the driver to pick up these two. I want this driver to pick up these three your software helps the dispatch manager 
easier man he's more easily manage the chaos in real exactly life, right yes it um a term of phrase that i use is transparency of information so you can look and log in and know what's going on in your company awesome. from narrow it down to driver bob to whoever else and you know what's going on which includes the ability like highly customizable search making yes. lots of notes Mm -hmm. So on those notes, okay. um, we have a system that we coined ProNotes, and that is every single event to happen to a BOL or bin in your system from the moment you put it in, you have a record of who did what at any given time. So if someone calls and says, hey, what happened to this? You can pull those up and go, uh, I need to make some phone calls because someone's not doing their job or someone messed up. Right. So it's a record. We call it's it's essentially a medical record of BOLs and bins in your system. Awesome. And so and then if let's say that let's say the owner said, you know what, I really like all this, but there's a feature here that I don't, you know, I, I need this feature. Mm -hmm. you, you you then you get on the phone with your team and I mean you get to work on. Well, uh, actually, there's some steps before that. I never just take a feature request and start putting into development, what I'll do is I'll work with the person requesting that feature request and do a full systems analysis mm -hmm. of it. That way I know exactly what you want. I'll repeat it back to you five times until we are on 100% the same page. And then once I'm confident that, yep, this is what they're looking for, then I present it to the team and then I can get some time frames on things. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, like, you know, don't just send the team scrambling. Let's make yeah, sure, yeah. right? We don't work in a void. Right, right. <laughs> and that's where there's a lot of communication. I mean, that you need to, yeah. that's a lot of communication. Is that how you spend a lot of your time, like, working with customers? Yes, I do. It's, I'm a man of many hats. <laughs> yeah. No, and I mean, and that's busy. When you've got yes. customers that know they can contact you anytime. That's that, that make, it's really yeah. busy. And then you, you need your own software to manage all the things going on in your system. Okay, that's yeah. Um, I got, okay, here's a question. Is right. this something that would need to be set up for each broker we deal with, or is it more universal? Um, so it depends because this is mainly tailored to fleets. Right. Um, sub hauling, it can do that, and each broker would need to be set up. Um, but it's meant for um, when you have your own in-house. So it doesn't, it doesn't mean you can't do it, but it's not tailored for um, subhauling. It's, and I think one of the things we talked about, because um, I, was, I was asking you questions, mm -hmm. um, and that is that if you were, let's say you're a dispatcher, this is something that I, I've never seen, but I've heard it requested. I think it was, I can't remember. Um, but on one of my shows, a dispatcher was talking about something that would allow a dispatcher to manage their drivers in segments of a software. It's the dispatcher. So here you are. You yeah. are, let's say currently you have a customer. They are a dispatch. They're an owner or dispatcher. And they're managing trucks and loads. Yeah. That you can do. But what if you were an independent dispatcher working with several trucking companies? It's a, you would need a different version of, it's a strange, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like the dispatcher's version of the, mm -hmm. of the dispatch dashboard. It's an interesting concept. Which yeah, is, yeah. Which, and I think well, that's all what, those uh, companies that you're working with that just need to use our software. All right, exactly. There you go. You can go well, log in and you can do whatever you need to. Well, <laughs> hey, and now, now there's a question for you. What do you, how, how do you interact with other car hauling software that might be used with other drivers? Can you ingest that into your system and then outgest it? Or I don't know. We have tried, but the majority of those other um, software providers, uh, like uh, United Road, um, you can't get into their app. There's no API there. It just doesn't allow for that. So we've tried uh, multiple different other providers and it's everyone's in their own bubble, just like we're in our own bubble. But um, with that being said, that's where the um, 
EDI facet comes in. If anyone does open it up, we can do it. Right, and that's and that's the thing is that because of the um, EDI that you already implement with. Uh, new car manufacturers to make sure you're on par with all the standards that mm -hmm. new car and finished vehicle logistics requires, you are also very attentive to can we configure to integrate with another system? Oh, absolutely. Whenever someone approaches us with like a, hey, we use this, the first thing we ask is put me in touch with their IT team. We want to talk to them, see where we can integrate. That's cool. That's I mean, that's really cool. Um, uh, what we're going to do is, by the way, that's funny, good timing. Ty gave me a super chat. I want to thank Ty. I really, I really appreciate that. Um, because actually what we're going to do is we're going to move into a panel discussion in a few minutes, um, where we're going to open it up. We're going to open this up into a bigger discussion, um, including industry information as well as car carrier software. But I, before I do that, I want to, let's do this. I'm going to share my screen, okay? And I want to pull up, um, first of all, I mentioned that I would pull this up. Gopher, what does it mean? It means... Yep, so the go is to move on a course, and four is to carry your carrier. So... When you put them together, it's a software that helps auto carriers go and carry. I, I, it, I find it extremely easy to remember. I like mm -hmm. the logo puts an image in my mind. Um, and I like the explanation of the name. Thank you. I'll have to give a shout out to Isaac on that one. I think yeah. he's in the chat still. Yeah, man. Good job, Came Isaac. That. That's very interesting. <laughs> um, whereas, I mean, I know, so you guys... Autocarriersoftware.com. Yes. What? Where do people go to find out more about your product? Uh, either to that or to gopher.com. Um, Autocarriersoftware.com links to gopher.com. So either one works. Okay. So we've got, okay, this has got, you gave me, okay, you got your email address, your main, main number. There's information on LinkedIn. There's information on Facebook. Let's do this. I'll leave that up there for a second, and then I'm going to pull up your website. So right. you can go to gopher.com, G-O-P-H-O-R-E.com. Is that right? Yeah. Or autocarriersoftware.com. Yes, sir. And then um, your and then your parent company is? Advancing Data Resources. That's the parent company that uh, we started off uh, coming up on – how many years has it been coming up on 34 years in April? <laughs> because the history, the history of your company is getting back into that. Is that, is it, what is your, your father is a programmer yes. developer? Yes, exactly. Another family and business. Yeah, we are a family owned business. Yeah. Okay. So he's been, he's been what writing code developing for, I mean, yeah. So, um, as long as you know, uh, started working for Forward Data, which if you're familiar with uh, ADP, it's like a payroll service. Uh -huh. But Forward Data was specifically in the freight industry. That's where he first started working. And then the owner just kicked the bucket one day. And um, one of the clients of Forward Data was uh, Spectrum Logistics. And uh, they hired my dad on and my dad started coding in the freight industry. And lo and behold, just moved on and started his own software company. And it's grown into what it is today. That's awesome. And so, I mean, what's the, the we're talking, I mean, you. so if you add up the, the years of experience your dad has in developing software, mm -hmm. and you, then you look at where you're at today, that's pretty neat. I mean, you, yeah. you're, it's, this is not a, this is not a startup or a new idea. No, no, we're, and we're not a fly by night company. We're here to right, stay. Right. And that's actually, is that one of the reasons why, I guess, in a marketing strategy, um, your it seems like you're just kind of hanging back, helping individual fleets that are looking for a truly customized solution. Mm -hmm. And um, but what's next for you guys? I mean, what, what so what do, what are you planning to do? Well, uh, we're going to be starting a marketing campaign this year, and really now we're at that point where it's like, you know, 
when we say customizable software, yeah, it's customizable, but out of the box, it's going to accommodate the majority of people that decide to go with us. So really, it's just a matter of onboarding and continuing to excel at customer service and develop. Uh, eventually, down the road, long, long road, uh, we would love to do a uh, brokerage module and or uh, load board. Right. And that makes sense. And that's, you know what, that's a common theme that I think we're going to hear in the coming weeks as I talk to uh, more folks that are in the car hauling software space is that right. there is there's really a lot of software to develop. And mm -hmm. um, Stephen Colbert shows up as a recommended. <laughs> um, that's well, it. So on that note, that's another thing that I really want to point out, too, okay. is that we are so monofocused on auto hauling software on this um, software package that it's going to continue growing and getting better from where it is. We're not stagnating. We're releasing new features every week. So really, that, uh, that stuff I mentioned, that is down the road That's because awesome. we want to make this the best in the industry, bar none. That's awesome. Um, let's see. I mean, I know when you, like when you say load board, I mean, I know that's a big one, but I just, I want to bring this up. I just saw on that video, it mentioned QuickBooks. How, how are you doing? How are you doing with QuickBooks? Okay. So QuickBooks, we work with uh, QuickBooks desktop and online. And it's basically once you get set up with it, you can push invoices in there. So you don't have to create invoices and do double entry in QuickBooks anymore. You create the orders in our system. And you can have it go off when it's delivered or when you click a button. We actually have a dashboard that you can manage all of your open orders that have not been invoiced yet. Uh, it, there's multiple ways to approach getting information over. Okay, yeah. And if you have a big old customer base in QuickBooks, we can pull all of them. Again, them. as a fleet, <laughs> that seems like making sure that you're updating QuickBooks as you're updating your load information and you're delivering and you're billing that that's a big point of like if, especially if you're talking to somebody that works in accounting that's all they want to talk about oh yeah i've made really good friends in accounting because of how much easier this made their life that's <laughs> awesome so you have accountants that would actually say we like it no oh, they say we love it wow that's a big deal that is a yeah. that's a really big deal yeah i agree um and then let's see we're also we're going to look at some screenshots uh, but you've got, you talked about, you've got easy tracking, you've got the pro notes, you've got, do you have reports? Oh, yes. We do have a plethora of reports. And if we don't have it, go into systems analysis and figure out what you need. If the data is in the system, we can get it out. So let's go ahead. I chose, um, that's my background screenshot, but let's do this. Um, okay, let's look at some screenshots here okay so we've got okay here's my first one so what am i looking at here what is this okay so these are some of the options for um, some of the manufacturers that we integrate with some of them um use uh like icl billing that they are a auditing house for multiple different manufacturers um such as uh mercedes-benz porsche volkswagen audi uh, toyota um, they do that. So in that one dashboard, you can see all of your bins, all of your monies. What's the status of them? Have I been paid yet? Right. This and is this is just a window within a much larger picture. But right. And, but with your, I mean, with your focus on this level of finished vehicle logistics, again, I mean, you know that. Let's say you wanted to start today in finished vehicle logistics. What are you What are you looking at? What kind of learning curve are you looking at? Um, well, if you're already in the industry, already moving cars, and you have a, a moderate size fleet where when you approach a manufacturer, uh, basically, once you get that uh, contract, if we are already set up with them, the setup is so easy because all the programming is done. We just get in touch with their IT contacts, which we already have relationships with and say, hey, uh, carrier ABC got set up. Let's get them hooked into our system. And then the data starts coming in. Okay. Okay. So, so from sign up to onboarding to training, you know, you're talking like a week or two, uh, depending on the level of, uh, you know, commitment that right. they have to really jump in and learn. All right, here we go. So now here's a here's a full screen. Wow. Yes. So what am I looking at here? 
So this is a BOL dashboard. So this is everything that you have, uh, what we call on hand. So you have orders that are on hand and orders that are in history. What it means to be in history is I'm done with this. I don't want to see it anymore. It's been paid. Get it off. It's been delivered. It's done. This is everything that's on hand that you're still working. It's a working pool of orders. So you can see like the very top one, order 431, doesn't have a pickup date, doesn't have a deli delivery date, whereas the ones underneath it, they have delivery dates. Why are they still in there? Have we invoiced them? Have we gotten paid? What's going on? Right. So here we are, whether you're a dispatch manager, owner, by the way, did you say you have different profiles based on your role in the company? Like uh, Yeah, so um, you have different roles, so different, uh, basically all the screens that you see across the top, like dashboard, daily work, reports, settings, quotes, um, you can basically customize, okay, this is a customer service person, so they only can see the dashboards. So they can pull up all the information and see what's going on, but they can't go in and edit orders. You don't want to do that. Or you have people that are accountants. All they do is come into here to bill, and all they see is the billing screens. Cool. Cool. So I've got, and I got a lot of, I mean, I got, I got several orders that I can see and then I can, I mean, I can, I can click on one of these tabs and go to a different part of your system. Mm -hmm. So and I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to consume. There's a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of information on one screen. It looks like there's a lot. I have, there, I have a lot of possibilities of what to do next. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I always recommend a, a demo because when we do that, we really can dive deep and show you from beginning to end how the system works. This screen here is just more of an informational screen to where you can pop into it and see what's going on. What? So let's say right now somebody says, oh my gosh, I've got to see more of this. What are they going to do? Uh, they'll reach out. Uh, what's, what's your email address? My contact in, uh, Niles at autocarriersoftware. Um, are you asking me or them? <laughs> yeah, I'm asking you. I'm asking anybody because I tell you what, you know what I know is that right now we're live. We're doing the show live, but some people are going to watch this on demand. Some people right. are just going to skip to this part and be like, okay, I've seen enough. I want to contact this guy. And so I just put Niles at autocarriersoftware.com in the live chat. Perfect. Yeah, feel free to email me and uh, we'll open the forum go from there. Cool. All right. So let's do this. Let's go to another screenshot. Um, okay. Here's another, I guess, part of your dashboard. So what are we looking at here? So this right here is where you're going to be doing, you know, 95% of your work. This is where you create orders, where you sign them to uh, drivers, uh, create your trips, and basically can search for any information that's in your system. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that uh, there's underneath load manager, OEM bins, other bins, loads, and trips. OEM bins, that first tab, is all the bins that have been assigned to you by a manufacturer. They just pop in there. And you can drag and drop them onto an order, and all the information pick, um, fills out. Pickup location, delivery location, who's paying for it, the bins, and the rates. So you just drag them on, and the order's done. You create it, and now you can dispatch it. Other bins, that's where you import bins into the system. Now on the tab that we're on is loads. This is all the loads that you have on hand on the left-hand bar of it. Uh, you see those color statuses. Yeah. Those oh. correlate with that blue line in oh. the middle above them, cool. the legend. Cool. So ready, it hasn't been dispatched yet. Purple is, it's been dispatched. Green has been picked up. Blue has been delivered. Red, it's canceled. And you get a count next to each one of those two so you can see what's going on. Cool, I like that scroll bar in the middle because I can, I can stay on the screen, but I can scroll up and down and see my loads. Right. And we're on the, I believe it's the right side of the screen. Yeah. Yeah, the right side. I'm trying to think if it's twisted. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the right side, that's the actual order entry. Yeah. That's where you're going to be creating your orders, creating your trips um, to dispatch. And I can fill in these fields here. And, uh, boy, look at all the buttons. Toggle, new order, new trip, order search, customer entry. This is yep. cool, man. This is a, there's a lot. There's a lot here. It yeah. takes a while to, to uh, and then you've got, I guess, larger sections like brokerage quotes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, I don't know if it correlates with your question earlier where you can have one person managing different driver sections. Um, yeah. But to the right of that legend key, there's that drop down that's called pool and it says main next to it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So um, in that, you can segment our system into different dispatching pools. Mm. So for instance, if you want to do, I only want orders that are going from southwest to no northeast of the country. I'm going to create a pool for it. And now I only create orders in there. And then you can go over to, okay, I'm only doing Mannheim, Dallas. I only want to do Mannheim, Dallas orders in this pool. And so they don't commingle over each other. You can segment your what you see and what you are working on uh, within our system. Do you think you could have pools based on what carrier you're working with? Absolutely. You just need to set them up. So that kind of answers Richard's question. Yeah. Richard might want to reach out to you. Here's another question. Uh, Truckify asks, does go for import all BOLs like Ready Auto, Metro, United Road, Cars Arrive, Hall Match, RPM, Reindeer, etc., like Truckify.com does? Uh, not currently. We do um, one dispatch, central dispatch. Basically, there's just a process. We just need an order, and then we can create it to where it can import. Okay. That's interesting. That's a good question. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to... Um, there's a lot to consume here, so I wanted to move on to... I was looking at the time. Let's go to another screenshot. All right. Um, okay. Wow. So this is... If I click reports, this is all my options? Yeah, you get a plethora of reports, uh, whether it's driver wow. settlement or you need an export of bins that haven't been paid yet. Wow. That's a lot of options. And then you can see, like, at the, the, at the very bottom, you know, top build customers, you know, who... So, right, can you customize reports can i can i i don't know i'm and accountants come up with all kinds of stuff they want to see right Trends exactly and trucks and lanes yep. and yeah you just contact us yeah. and we'll work with you that's pretty cool all right let's go to another one uh okay customer entry yeah that's another one building a customer database with all the information you need per customer then you right. know, don't don't talk to Sally and uh, always say hello to Mark. Can I put that and stuff in here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, on the first page that we're on, the addresses tab is highlighted. And uh, the thing I was highlighting on here was the location. We use a Google API. It's where you just start typing an address and it'll start giving you results. You click one of those and it inputs it. But as far as your question, um, on the notes tab and the dispatcher notes, yeah. the notes tab will show throughout the system. They'll show on the driver app. They'll show wherever you need them to. And then you can put notes in the dispatcher section. That's only for the dispatcher. And you can also flag that customer. So if you select them on order entry, it goes, hey, this customer owes you $20,000. Or hey, this customer we don't do business with anymore. Right. And you can flag customers to reach out. You can, you, or, oh, you can flag customers in, I don't know, yes. what colors or whatever? Uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. This, okay, I like this. This is cool. Um, oh, okay, and here's oh wow, look at all those options of notifications. Yeah, so these are the every my step of the way notifications. Yeah, so from the top down, when an order is created, when it's dispatched, when it's picked up, when it's delivered, if there's damages, the final EPod PDF, uh, invoice on delivery, wow. invoice when you send it to your accounting software. If you give it an estimated pickup delay, if you give it an estimated delivery date, and if you change that estimated pickup or delivery date, it'll send. So wherever you want them to get an email update status, this is where you would put it in. That's a heck of a list. Yeah. That's kind of every, it's like every moment in the life cycle. Correct. And then some. Like, if, so what, if I mark damages, somebody gets an email? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, once you uh, pick it up for delivery, if you mark it up, you can have them go, hey, we found damages on but this BOL. I'm not even done strapping it down, and they're like, dude, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's And that's why you're laughing about my picture, right? Because you've got more than just a picture when it's, well, okay, so they get an email, and then in the email, it's got programmed to give pictures. and. Well, in the email, what it's going to have, it's going to have, like, a gist, like a general idea of like, hey, hey, your movement from here to there on order X, Y, Z, we found damages. Click this button to get more information. Okay. And that will take them to the My Easy Track link. Right. Let's get there. Okay. So that's, oh, there it is. My Easy Track. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So when they yeah. get that email, the link is going to take them to their order just like this. And on here, if it has not been deliver delivered yet, uh, 
if it's not been delivered yet and you have the option turned on, right underneath that photo of that car, there would be a click to track button right. and they can click that and that's where they can see the driver with a skewed you know, general idea on a Google map. Okay, but, there's there's your item there's your itemized status updates. Yes, and those are customizable. Um, every status update has a status code, and we can control and you can tell us which ones you do and don't want to show. So if you're like, hey, you know, the fourth or the third from the bottom email sent denials at Gmail. Uh, yeah, don't show those notifications. Turned off. Wow, wow. And I like there's the picture of the car. I like this. This is a nice looking document. And this is this is on okay, so myeasytrack.com is that another part of your software? Yes, that's uh, our software. Wow. And um where it says your logo, that would be your logo. So when the clients click on the icon, they'll see that it's your company dishing this up. Wow. This is cool, man. Very cool. I like this. Um, let's see. And you've got, okay. Oh, and I, here's another screen. This is similar to the other one, but what's different? Oh, is it, it says trip. Is this a, uh, yeah. So this is the trip builder. Um, so instead of the BOL builder, you have this, this is where you're going to put your orders on and you'll see the pickup location, all the bins contained delivery location with all the bins contained and you can reorder this however you need. And it doesn't show it on this screen, but there's a, a route button that when you click it, it will take your first stop, your last stop, and find out what's in between them and go, do you want me to optimize this and route it in the shortest possible path? Then you can accept, it'll give you the mileage. And then from there, you can choose, you can look at it and go, okay, that's not gonna work or go, all right, that worked out great, save. And then your um, driver's dispatch. This is where, in the chaos, you, you you know, you try to, okay, If this is where I, I think like a, a fleet owner or dispatcher would like to freeze time and get everything organized, but they can't. Exactly. Time keeps marching. Somebody else adds another car. Somebody takes away a car. Uh, the phone rings and another big order comes in. And this is where you can electronically, rather than having to put a bunch of max, matchbox cars on your desk, so you can see it, this exactly. is how you can do it electronically, right? Exactly, and on here too, what's cool is if uh, the client calls and says, hey, I need you to remove uh, VIN 123 off of order, uh, what's the top one, 428? So remove VIN 1 off of there. When you do it on the order, it'll update this automatically, so you don't have to come back and figure out what I need to remove. You just do it on the order and it flows through. Huh. Oh, yeah, and then, so if that happens, now I've got a hole because I lost a VIN. Does yeah. it also help me make sure that I know I, I've got an empty spot and I can take another car? Uh, we actually have a report in the works for that. Awesome. Um, to prevent deadhead. Okay. Awesome. Man, this is... Okay, wow. Um, uh, what do we got here? What is this? Oh, um, so at the very top of the screen, like if you go back one, you'll see the very top center. Okay. Oh, um, uh, if I go back, okay, go, yeah, back, go back one. So okay. see the very top center of that, there's those four boxes. So this is kind of like a zoom in on those boxes in the very first one. Um, so if the very first one is that little magnifying glass and in there it's uh -huh. a universal search. So you can just start typing a VIN, oh. a VOL or a trip. So if a client calls and just gives you the last six, it's gonna start giving you results of, hey, here's all the VINs I found that match that, here's all the BOLs I found that match that, and all the trips that match that. I, and it's just I, like a quick. I like right. that, listen, we all know, when we're stressed, we wanna find stuff fast. Right. That's what you're pointing out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like, exactly. all I know is 103. I don't know, what is it? It's 103. People are yelling at each other, and meanwhile, somebody's just like, 103. <laughs> Yay! Yep. Like, there it is. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool, man. I like that. Yep. Um, and I think that's the last slide. Okay. All right. Cool. So uh, just to cool. go on with those other uh, icons, uh, the question mark is our help system. Okay. We have nearly 200 documents that you can search and look at all different facets of our system. Oh. Just if you want to learn on your own and you're like, hey, how do I add a driver? You can just start typing add a driver and you'll find a 
um, result page with a quick, this is how you do it, and an in-depth with photos and arrows and circles. Click these buttons, and this is how you can do what you want to achieve. That's cool. Okay, right. So like uh, like an extended FAQ where you can just help yourself. Yeah, a very extended FAQ. Okay. okay. That's good. That's actually really helpful. What, so what do these other two do? Like um, The drop pin one, Yeah. that is uh, to where you can click that, and it will show you where all your drivers are on a map. Oh, wow. So it just pulls them up, and it will tell you the last time that they reported their location, which it, the app will do automatically. And then uh, basically just show you where all your drivers are. And that's exact locations. And then the exclamation point, that's an alert system. So for instance, if you have a equipment registration coming up and expiring in two weeks, that will start dancing essentially on the top of your screen saying, click me. When you click it, it'll give you the alert and then you can take action on it from there. Now and it, that, that alerts, you just meant that's the question mark? Uh, no, no, that's, that's the exclamation point. Oh, that's point. still the, okay. With the little red dash next, or thing next so to it. If you've got something, if you, so, so your system also you can enter, is that you're saying you can enter truck information and it helps you manage, which yes. is another fleet, that's a big, when, when it comes to fleets, that's another big thing is keeping track of the trucks when they need to get maintained. I mean, it's a big part of running a fleet. Exactly. And this will, once it, you know, you tell us basically, Hey, you know, a month out, tell me next maintenance is coming up or a registration and that can come up and start saying you need to take action on this. Interesting. That's awesome, man. Okay. Well, this is uh, wow. This is great information. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see here. Let's stop the share. We're going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to run another ad. We're going to hear from legal shield. Um, they have a CDL program, and we're going to hear more about that. And while that's happening, I'm going to get uh, Ty and Candy in here so we can keep talking about auto carrier software and the car hauling industry, okay? So stick with me, okay? We will be right back. Absolutely. But this particular plan is a special plan that actually protects you as, you're, as you are in the mission of a CDL truck. So when you're behind the wheel of a rig, outside, outside of your vehicle, vehicle Anything that's considered a, a CDL vehicle, the, you get access to a vehicle. We offer specifically, we offer specifically to commercial drivers, whether or not you're on operator or you actually drive for a company. Now, Absolutely. But this particular plan is a special plan that actually protects you as, you're, as you are in the mission of a CDL truck. So when you're behind the wheel of a rig, outside of your personal vehicle, anything that's considered a, a CDL vehicle, the, you get access to a plan that protects you in that world. So just for example, this is a commercial driver's legal plan that we particularly offer. We offer specifically to commercial drivers, whether or not you're an owner-operator, or you actually drive for a company, you can have access to this. So what it's going to actually give you is tragic accident representation. So that means if you kill somebody in a vehicle, they don't have to be your fault. Somebody slams on brakes in front of you. Now you're in a situation where you had a, uh, a multi-thousand pound vehicle that killed someone, and now how much is that going to cost you to get representation for that? Well, Legal Shield is going to be able to represent you as long as you weren't drinking or driving or anything like that. When lose a draw, you'll be covered throughout the trial for that situation. We're gonna give you coverage on all your motor vehicle moving traffic violations. Whether it could be a logbook violation, overweight, it could be uh, anything dealing with speeding, 
uh, missing a scale, any of those things that may happen. And you know those tickets are quite mm -hmm. expensive for a truck driver versus us regular people who drive a regular car. And sometimes they can sit that truck there until you pay that fine before you can move it. So this is going to give you access to be able to have attorneys represent you in court so that you don't physically have to be there. You can still be moving loads, making money, while the attorneys are handling those pieces of your business that may hop up. And this is a national program as well, by the way. So that means if you're driving anywhere in the United States or Canada, this plan, this plan covers you. Also, we're going to help you with IRS audit situation. A lot of you guys are owner operators. Then you got to do taxes. It's 1099 income. How do you report that stuff? How do you know what you can write off? If you get audited, who do you call? Well, it's using a tax attorney's thousands of dollars an hour just to get help with that. But with this program, 50 hours already taken, uh, taken care of if you're audited for them to go to the audit with you and all those types of things as well. The last thing I want to tell you real briefly, that this plan is going to actually give you access to get your will done. Folks in this country, 90% of minorities and 70% of all Americans, we all going to die. But those percentages do not have a last will and testament to leave and dictate where their assets go upon death. Folks, we can say everybody, we let somebody else figure it out, but the state is hoping that you don't have one. Why? Because they get a percentage when they have to get their attorneys involved to be able to figure out what to do with the rest of your assets. But also, folks, who raises your kids? What happens to the schools they go to? What about the morals and things that you're putting into them? Who's going to raise them? The will allows you to be able to get that done so there's no additional cost. It's included in your membership. Folks, this membership is $32.95 a month, so I guarantee you, you can take full advantage of it today. Get in contact with me at 302-270-4507. Even the fish want to get the plane. They're jumping out there. <laughs> All right. So, and actually, I, I successfully turned the audio back on, so we're good there. Let's see here. Oh, we got... Looks like I'm losing part of the screen. So let me try to do something special here. I think I can customize this. Um, let's do, actually, let's do this. Let's do, bear with me while I make a, uh, I, I'm gonna move the display capture. Now you gotta be real careful when you move the display capture. Ooh, I successfully did it. Okay, cool. So, uh, we have with us here, we've got, we're back with Niles at Gopher Auto Carrier Software. And now we have with us, we have Ty from CTS. He is with us. And we also have Candy from Jacksport Storage and Seaport Service. Can you hear us okay, Candy? Yeah, I can. How you doing? Awesome. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I think tired. Yeah, I know. You know, I apologize <laughs> that, um, you know, that it's so late your time by the time, you know, my show kicks in. So, you know, what can I do except, I mean, I really appreciate you tuning in um, and, and taking the time. It means a lot. Oh, thank you. It's good. Don't worry. You'll be like a daytime talk show host soon, so... Oh, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> Can't wait to hear more about that. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, but we are, we're here, and we, um, we're we lucky to have Niles with us and to elaborate in depth about his software. I think it's a, I think it's a real treat um, and why I do this show and have the interviews and the panel discussions to get to know somebody's company's products and services more intimately than just a cursory glance on a Facebook post um, to really dive in, right, and get under the hood. And this is, you know, by tuning in and checking out the show and watching this, you don't even have to set up your own demo. You could, you could get a cursory glance. <laughs> is this something I might need? Does this do something that I don't already have? And so, I mean, I really, Niles, I really appreciate you taking the time to share it Thanks with for us. Having me. Yeah, it's awesome. So here we are together. We have another live panel discussion. What do you guys think? You're here. I know you're tired, but are you stimulated? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> I'm really pumped. I like Donald's this new haircut, man. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm <laughs> jealous of yours, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't get a lot of haircuts. This <laughs> this is the ponytail. You should see whoa. when it's out, it's crazy. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, whoa. <clears throat> so um, I had a couple of questions when you get a chance. Yes, please about take software. it. Yeah, run with it. Like I'm in software mode right now. I've had about three interviews with uh, companies locally in Jacksonville regarding just custom building programs. I use an an app. I'm not a I'm a carrier, but not a carrier per se, in the respects of uh, what everybody else is doing. Different kind of carrier. So I was looking for some custom build stuff just for us. And it sounds like it might be right up your alley. So I was excited to hear some of the things. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, you say you work with, okay, so Candy, tell us more about, I didn't actually know that, I don't know, that you're you're involved with software or tell us more about that. I mean, do you, are you, are you in the nuts and bolts of the, of the dashboard of the mobile app? Are you on the accounting side? Where are you coming from? As far as what a business or right. well, just as learning? A, well, as a business as a business user, what parts okay. of what parts of car hauling software help you the most? Because there's so many different things involved. Yeah. Like, wh where are you? Are you a QuickBooks person? Are you an inspection person? Are you <laughs> are you do you are you managing too many loads? It just so happens that I I I happen to know a lot about the life cycle of a vehicle especially as a dispatcher to know the pain of it's it's a pain to find good paying loads but once i've once i've dealt with that pain then it's a pain to manage loads mm -hmm. all right and so there's many areas where some people never feel those pains the accounting person all their their pain is getting the driver to send them the bol so they can either make payment or pretend that they haven't got the BOL yet. See that? Sure. See what I did there? So, <laughs> but I mean, so we all have different parts of the process that are more important to us. You mentioned, you made a comment about software. What is it about software that you either like or dislike? Staying generic, we don't have to mention companies. What is it about products on the market now or products that are coming, or product, you know, where are you? Where, where are you in your, are you, are, are, I mean, are you super excited about what you have now, or do you have the same old stuff? No, I'm not excited, only because with growth, you know, I don't have the, it, the resource, what I'm using now, there's not enough platform that I can see, and that I beg to see, that, that I can see us growing into. We've all, we're already there, and the platform, the software that I'm using, the app that I use, um, I would say we use it more from a dispatch perspective, but um, I utilize QuickBooks. I do use QuickBooks, and the software integrates with QuickBooks, but it doesn't integrate deep enough to, to count. It, it just, it's not enough depth, and I've expressed that with the company that we've used because they said they offered a little bit more customization but in all these years since it was in beta um i haven't seen it so, okay. so that's yeah. why we've been looking to build something on our own or like i'm listening i'm like timing is everything it seems like it's, he's created uh an uh platform that may be helpful to what we're doing so it's kind of like it's like it's like it's like getting some real estate and you've seen the house. You, you you thought there was more house, but you've really you've seen the whole house. Yeah, it's like they, they the pictures were real nice, but and they took it from the right angle, so the room looked real big. And then when you walk in there, yeah, it's a pretty good analogy. I like that. It's a right. You looked at the brochure, you signed up for the cruise, then you get on the ship, and you're like, <laughs> really, this is my room. <laughs> 
Okay. That's a good analogy. I like that. The closet. I, I don't think I've ever heard that. And that's what I like about a live show is we literally just came up with a pretty good analogy of, and this is common. Listen, whether you're buying a car, whether you're buying a house, whether you're on a date, right? This, this, these analogies apply to many aspects. And mm -hmm. we find out, gosh, this is it. This is, this is the, this is the enchilada. Yeah. And, okay. but you know, for me, what, what I do down here, even I'm listening for the software, I, I think part of my job, I mean, I know it, all of our job is to serve, but I want to find out about the software for owner operators or small fleets or like the crew, the guys that I run into, the guys and women who don't have time and don't have the experience to analyze all these different software platforms. Well, and it's a really interesting you say that. I, I feel like not only every Tuesday, but even in the conversations Ty and I have, because we have a lot of conversations now, it's constantly repeated that there's nowhere for people to go to compare and learn. There's nowhere. Mm -hmm. Who's got time? Like, uh, right. if you're not sitting behind a desk, even though it's tough behind the desk, like, I'm not behind the desk even half of a day, but who really has time if you're trying to, A, learn dispatch or either dispatching or keep up with vehicles or your drivers or fuel stops, breakdowns? Who's got time? Like, even, like, I get frustrated when uh, solicitors that I've actually sent messages or, you know, contacted to touch base with me. I get frustrated when I have to talk to them before 4.30, 5 o'clock p.m. because I can't think about what they're saying. So I know somebody new just trying to keep their truck rolling. I know they don't have time for it. And I, and Ty, I tell you what, it makes me think of Ty because Ty knows this. Ty makes himself available during those hours when the, when the, the company owner or the driver is too busy working. Yeah, and that is yep. that's a that's really it's interesting because now we're about to broach into customer service communication and being available. Is that nine to five? That's the easy part. Those are the bankers' hours, which is why mm -hmm. you can never get to the bank. See how that works? <laughs> <laughs> which is why I, they have the sat. They're like, well, I got the Saturday mm -hmm. hours, and I'm like, yeah, till noon, dude. Oh. I just got up. You know, yeah. I was well because I was working all night. See, all right, I know what you're thinking. I'm up all night partying, but uh, <laughs> no. But the point and is, that's... you do. You have to be available outside of those normal. You somebody needs to be by the phone or something. I don't know. Representative. Yeah, but well, that's what I was thinking. I'm fine with these hours. Like even for the show, I'm fine. I appreciate that. You know, it's interesting. Um, we've kind of we've we've looked into changing the hours of this show. And it just so happens that even though everybody's tired and fed up with car hauling in general, this is still a good time because people are not in the heat of work. I tried to do a day show, and, man, it just kept falling Ooh. apart. Everybody kept canceling. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I like your input. It's really helpful. You're helping drive parts of this conversation <laughs> because what's unfortunate is we're in kind of a sticky situation here is that car hauling knows a few things. We know that we don't have anywhere to go. We don't have anybody to talk to except some rich guy at a truck stop. And we know that we need better products and services. And we need people to, to do what they say they're going to do. And it's hard to open that conversation up. But I'm trying to help do that. I'm trying to help educate on the time that you have. That's what's nice about this video. People are dropping off because it's live. I get it, man. It's late. I got to get up in the morning. But they know they can finish the show tomorrow. They can listen to it while they're driving. They can get a taste for things that they don't have time to make phone calls and learn about. And if they like what they hear, they can dive in further. And we're doing that. This is the Car Hauling Business Channel. I'm starting to offer you know, the channel as a reference point because it's so frustrating in the daytime trying to give especially new carriers but not all new carriers good information to to not be discouraged like to keep them strong and motivated like that very first check that they got oh, that yeah. they actually didn't have to put in the fuel tank 
check, you know, so I'm referencing the the site, you know, the show more be, to show them that you can go back and listen to other shows. Thank you. And get the same information because if history repeats itself, if you did cards for more than three months, like anybody who has, everybody's went through pretty much the same good stuff, but the same crap too. Yeah. So, but you might have went through it by yourself, but I mean, it's, it's cliche, but you're not alone. And I remember, and even though I laugh sometimes, I only laugh, you know, because I remember when I wasn't laughing. So I'm like, oh, okay, I made it. You can make it. We're going to get through it. But here's some really good insight to help you get through it without pulling out all your hair and borrowing money from everybody. Yeah. Oh, man. And tell you what, and this is that's what's cool is, Ty, we already got somebody else came in during the show. We've got another appointment scheduled. And we love that. Um, it, 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 did you get my business cards, by the way? Yep, I got them up right here. Right. Dang, I should have. I don't know how to make the camera pop up now. That's okay. It doesn't I want to show you who's holding them. <laughs> that's awesome. So you got my business cards, and um, and that's great. And actually, you're one of the few people I'm, I'm behind on sending people stuff. And I know this is turning into a self-promotion moment, but really the panel discussion that we're in right now is to, this is an industry reminder that we really are here to help educate, um, network and create a community. I know that, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, a, a tricky situation because we want to get the information out there and, um, Car hauling needs an improvement. I was talking to somebody earlier about Central Dispatch. And mm -hmm. um, because as Ty likes to point out, I talk about Central Dispatch like every week. But I've gone, <laughs> look, I've gone, what are we at? We're at two hours. Oh, I almost made it to two hours without mentioning Central Dispatch. Dang it. Damn, you were real close. Look, like so close. But I was, I was so close. But here's the good news is that I think the consensus is Central Dispatch, I'm not. They're not even an entity. It's Cox Automotive. It's Dealer Track. Central yeah. Dispatch is not worried about me or anybody else talking about Central Dispatch because Cox Automotive. This is a guess, speculation, and an assumption by me and many, many people that I talk to, is that Cox Automotive has so much business to think about, worry about, improve, and develop, like. Ride Clean and all these other sub companies of companies. I mean, they are a gigantic organization that they don't. I don't think Central Dispatch has to worry about improving a carrier load board. That's going to be somebody else. And I think that I, I, want I think they've proven that because they own Ready Auto. They've owned it for years and they haven't done hardly anything. Way to go, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> we he it. did good. Look, look, Ty. He's two minutes early. <laughs> and I, I honestly think I'm starting. I used to think Cox Automotive. They're never going to want to talk to me. Actually, I think at some point they are, and they're going to say, "Yeah, we're not worried about it." Good job. I don't think they're going to say that. I think, I think it'll be to that point where uh, we went through it a lot down here at the port, where they realize that. That one company, that one person they didn't think could really influence that percentage, those numbers, is uh, a force to be reckoned with, especially when you have an intellectual tool. You're putting out information, so yeah. Well, I like what you said because I think, uh, I think there's several companies that fall in that category, and I mean, we are here uh, to help and fix some of the problems that have just been lingering for on and on it's it's enough already we we don't need we don't need the we don't need the same old stuff we need new solutions car hauling is hard exactly that's right and that's why you are helping people even if it's one at a time and we that's something we understand helping people one at a time is a good thing Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that grows. Soon you've got five. Soon you've got ten. That's how they built Fight Club. One guy <laughs> at a time. Really? First rule of Fight Club. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, what? 
Hi, <laughs> Club. I thought this was Carl. Yeah, what in the? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, man. Right now, somebody's like, ooh, Fight Club Auto Transport LLC. Oh, That's a good idea. <laughs> dot com. Right, <laughs> dot com. Right now, there's guys fighting over Fight Club Auto Transport. <laughs> I don't know if I would give him too many cars, you know. Well, I, there's some <laughs> funny names out there. Like, I showed a couple memes, like, just woke up, dispatch, or I don't know. <laughs> I, I saw Camel Toe and... Uh, Camel toe and this one guy, he comes down here. Oh, what's his name? Every I just middle finger, no, sticky finger, something special. Something finger. <laughs> yeah. I've heard finger. a camel I've heard a camel toe. That's catchy. You gotta you gotta admit. That's a I wonder what the logo. Okay, stop. That's <laughs> a family show, uh, Jay. It's a, Family show. Uh, Isaac Dawson says you broke the first rule. I got it, uh, man. That's a prop right there. I love, you know. I, I just, man, as a, and that's part of why I'm a media guy. There are some movies that just really, even though they might be crazy, they really capture my imagination. And Fight Club is one of them. Um, Jesus. And also, like the Social Network. That movie. I love that movie. That's a great movie. Yeah. I was going to let you know about the... What? You were going to let me know something? About the uh, ELD. I had an ELD, an audit. We oh, had an audit. Yeah, what were safety you audit. yeah what's a, tell me more about the safety audit you were talking about. Really, I, I was going to ask you. I just... I, Man, it's crucial. And anybody's got it coming up with, with the federal... Um, just make sure you're ready. He gave us a book that you can download. I would suggest, highly suggest downloading this before you get into that sticky, sweaty situation. Because no matter how OCD you are and think you're going to be prepared, you're not. Sorry. You're not. Dude, sounds crazy. Yeah, no, that's one of those, yeah. Hold on to your butt. This is we call Brian at Fleet Solutions, our new... Compliance guy. I was just going to say, what's really cool, Niles and Candy, is that we, Ty, tell tell us more about what's going on with the starter kit. Starter kit's amazing. Um, it's something that we really, we just kind of stumbled upon and it's working out really well. For example, uh, I talked to so many people in the course of a day that want to know where do I find cars? What truck do I buy? What trailer do I buy? Who should I talk to? What do I do first? Do I do DOT first or do I get insurance first? So what's happening is I don't have a lot of time and there's a lot of these that just want to know, I just want the phone number to Sam Farr or I just want to talk to Niles, right? So as we're building our relationships with what we call the starter kit, it's really cool because we come across, Jay actually met Brian I don't know how long ago, but oh, yeah. I got the contact. A year from, and a half, yeah. I got the contact. Jay gave me the contact. I called Brian. We talk on the phone. <clears throat> I look, I really like this guy on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, how much do you charge for this? How much do you charge for that? Okay, that's reasonable. Can we put you in our starter kit? Do you want to be in our starter kit? So now when I get the question, it comes to compliance because I can't stand Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, DOT, all their rules, all their crap, just like Candy's saying, I don't care how OCD you are. The last time I got, the guy walked out and said, here's a bill for eight grand. They will find something wrong and they will find a way to make money off of you. I don't want to deal with it. I'd rather pay somebody like Brian, you deal with it. <laughs> yeah. And drink more of that Kool-Aid, Jay. I'm drinking my. You said you said DOT eight grand. I'm drinking the. <laughs> You're like slobbering that down. Wow, Henry. <laughs> oh, is the F, is, is the FMCSA still here, honey? Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, somebody mm. get me. Somebody get me, Brian, because I. Woo. Yeah. So it's been really mm -hmm. fun. We're working out these relationships with guys like Niles, guys like Brian, guys like Michael last week, Fleet Shield. And, um, Oh yeah. It's another it's really, Michael. It's really taking yeah. some cool form because wow. wouldn't it be cool to get a newbie 
that wants to get in the business say, here's your starter kit. And for them to actually listen and like just know that this is based off experience and not someone just trying to solicit and sell them something because it might be a partial fit. That man, that's priceless. Well, and the cool part is, is that Jay and I, because we've done this so long and he knows a lot of people, I know a lot of people. What's really fun is we're, we have a pretty intense vetting process. Like Mm -hmm. we don't just ask people to come and be a part of our starter kit. You pretty much have to go through the rite of passage on auto transport Intel. That's how we get to know. (laughs) That's what's so cool. What's neat is Brian is an interview I did I don't know, year, year and a half ago, and it's coming back around. He really is part of our community. He's now part of our starter kit. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that the interviews I did yesterday are part of the starter kit of tomorrow. And that's what's really, that's where the magic of all this is. I mean, it's mind blowing. And I got to tell you, Ty, you have helped me identify and see what's really happening. Yeah. It's awesome, man. This is amazing. But, you know, I mean, you look at, you've known Niles way longer than I have. You know, we got on and talked to Niles and, but I, I mean, we, but we barely talked. That's the crazy thing. Niles and I, I think I first called you, gosh, I mean, maybe two years ago. And how many times have we talked since? Like twice? Yeah. <laughs> So it's like I didn't get to I didn't know any of this stuff. That's why I was like, dude, you got to come on the show. And I'm going to take this moment. Truckify gave me a super chat. Thank you, Truckify. I want to know more about Truckify. I think Truckify is going to come on the show, too. So every time we find out about another person out there, another company, service, product or individual, come on the show. Let's talk. Let's find out more about you and what you've got. And we can start to all move forward. Uh, and I, I know somebody recently said, there's no one person that can lock up all this business. No. Exactly. Tell that to Central Dispatch, well, too. And you know what? Hey, the that. that's, and I'll tell you what, like you just said earlier. Yeah, there, that's the thing is, it, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, dude, that's yesterday. Everybody seems to think... Uh, not everybody, but what, 99.9% of all mammals seem to think that you, if you want to book cars, you go to Central Dispatch. But then when you start talking to those people, you realize they don't want to do that. You know, it's like the bread lines. It's like the 1984 Apple commercial. People are tired of the old way. The same old stuff is not cutting it anymore. Isn't there another new iPhone? Oh my gosh, is there a better way to do this? So, and we're doing it. This is the auto transport Intel movement. And yeah, it's good. cool. I don't think I've broken any records yet, but um, man, I'm thrilled about what's been done in just one year. It's awesome. I was gonna say, you, I, I think just you've broken a few records, you know. Yeah, maybe a couple, maybe a couple, yeah. Maybe the, the panel just by, like I don't, I, I look to if it's some more, you know, that I need to look and educate myself on 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 YouTube or a different platform. Just being able to bring, um, look look at the panel right now. Yeah, right. Just being able to bring that kind of circle together. Yeah. In a exactly. in an open forum, you know, where it's not um, what's the word when you sit up on the platform and well, it, like the Easter Bay speech, like it's written out and planned. Oh, um, like, Oh, dude, where like, it's free, yeah. freestyle, you were going you know, I think like, like you're, um, what do you call that? Yeah. What do you call Like a, you have a group open up on panel st- discussion, but you have a group up it's, on stage and it feels so like <laughs> canned. Right? Yeah. Whereas I feel like this is more of like a Ted talk where you get to actually participate. I love Ted talks. But it's kind of hard. It's a different forum. And that's also where, let me say this, as far as media goes, books, movies, TV shows, Broadway plays, you could have the same story in different media, and it has a different level of participation, different type of storytelling. I like the live panel discussion because we do get to participate. And I'll tell you what, I like the live chat, but if in the future of the, if the future of live chat was more participatory, whew, 
you get lost in that word. If people could pop up on the screen and like participate or something, I don't know. I don't know where this live streaming is headed. That's actually one of the yeah. things I'm excited about. And how much it can handle. I talked to a new carrier tonight. Um, she called a little bit earlier, but she's, I can tell Jay, she's going to be sharp. She's dispatching, Awesome. but it's something I, I heard it in the question she asked. And she told me this was like her very first load or her very first trip down to the port. But her questions, like she, I said, she's going to be good. And I told her to tune in tonight to make sure and to look. And she definitely needs to look at the central dispatch videos, just kind of how to, mm. but oh, the yeah. questions she asked, were jam on the money as far as not getting duped, uh, not allowing um, someone offering her the vehicle, be it a dealer, an export or broker, to have the upper hand on how she conducts her, her business, her dispatch, yeah. uh, to hold your ground in a respectful manner oh, yeah. and not allow you know the customer, whoever, to dictate how you move your truck because. I mean, I see them all the time. They come in here frazzled because somebody's phone hustling them about their vehicle. And the, I mean, they, they've lost it. They lost that sense of control yeah. or at least a sense to be able to. That's a lot of pressure, like well, to, to handle your business, to handle getting paid and that part and then have to oh, unload that truck and oh not drop drop a car on it. Exactly. Well, that's the thing is that um, if if we want the industry to get better, then we need to raise our level of education. Amen. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you, I, I had a, I had a thought earlier. Ty it was another thing Ty was saying to me, and I, I lost the thought because I started thinking about what you were saying. But um, whether you're a dispatcher or a new car hauler or you're a car shipper or you're an aspiring broker, there is so much to learn and so much to manage. That's why I feel like we could literally do this live show every Tuesday forever. Yeah. And, and the industry Some needs of the it. So how would uh, like new carriers get questions I mean, would they just need to email the questions to you? I don't want to put, like, everybody off yeah. on you. We have they a, need to be talking to Ty, you know, about certain things. I but. think I think we figured it out, which is amazing to me. Okay, here's what we're doing. <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. Because I was being overwhelmed by new car hauler questions. And what we're doing mm -hmm. is everybody is just getting put into the CTS funnel and Ty takes the they, – they come out the bottom of the funnel and Ty – puts them into wherever they need to go. And with, with the starter kit, with the referrals, there are now people he can refer them to, and he doesn't have to figure out the answer. So what's happening is, with an assembly line, it's almost like a production facility of, of delegation of people and topics, we can help place people in the right place without actually having to service the entire conversation. And that's, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's amazing. I, I don't think, I've never known of a program that does that in car hauling. Right. No, because sometimes I want to refer people to dispatchers, but I don't even know if they can handle anybody S new. Send them to me. We're doing that. We are now placing, we're placing car haulers that need training. We're placing car haulers that need dispatchers. We're placing dispatchers looking for car haulers. Yeah, that's happening. That's already happening. We, I'm now, I also, if you're a new car shipper, you're a person, you are tired of your phone ringing and people telling you all kinds of crazy stuff, come to Auto Transport Intel and I will place you to a broker, that one broker that you can talk to and trust. If it doesn't work mm -hmm. out, you come back and we'll place you somewhere else. But we're not placing yep. you to five people or ten people or just leaving your, you know, dropping the ball and walking away. It's not happening right now. I hope I hope that doesn't happen. Um, but that that's what's happening. It's not an easy process. Um, in fact, you know, I, before I met Ty, I was like, why am I even doing this? <laughs> this feels like dispatching. But I want, but I want to help. It's just it's hard to figure out. And the thing is. 
In that, there's also some bad news. One out of ten people, you don't want to do this. This you don't hmm. don't do this. It'd be like if I said, I think I'm gonna be a dentist. <laughs> you know, like, okay, Jay, you know what? No. You're not gonna be my dentist. Really? <laughs> but it's my dream. Are you sure? Really? You wanna be a dentist? Why? Why do you wanna be a dentist? Well, I really <clears throat> like teeth. I mean they're really cool. Alright. Alright. But do you like it when somebody's mouth is open? Do you like the smell of people's breath? No. All right. Are you afraid of, you know, plaque and, and germs? Yeah, it freaks me out. Okay, are you sure you want to be a dentist? Yeah, but I just love teeth. Well, okay. Well, maybe there's something else you can do. Right maybe, there's, right, maybe there's something else with teeth that you can do. Maybe you know, what's, what's happening, though, is it's kind of like a lot of people, what they do is they... They take, I always like to pick people that are smarter than me and know more than I do. And that's the guy I like to put in that position. So it's like a guy like Niles, a guy like Brian, a guy like Michael. And the list keeps getting bigger and bigger. And now we're starting to step into equipment. You know, I can talk about equipment all day long, but why don't you talk to the people that make it? <laughs> Here, talk to them. Um, so as, as it's growing, the starter kit's really starting to, take some shape and it we're starting to bring more people in and that's where i get i get pretty ex excited about that because really here's the thing i mean my times were something everybody's times were something yeah. but i if i if you got one simple little question hey give me a call tell me what it is and i bet we can point you in the right direction let somebody else help you better than i can and that's what's cool too is we're not trying to answer every question if we're not the right person, we're going to send you over to somebody we know. I love doing that. Man, yeah. I, and I, that, that's, isn't that a good feeling when, mm. you know, you could say, you know what, you should talk to my mechanic. Because I honestly, I, I'm not going to be able to fix that. Yeah. Yeah. I referred somebody. Uh, they, I mean, I know a little bit about trucks, engines, maintenance, that part. But he kept asking me, like, literally, which truck should I get? I got this some amount of money. Which truck should I get? What truck should I get? What trailer? So oh. it, it made me feel good. James Odato down. James Odato, he's at Peterbilt over in um, Ocala, and he was a car hauler. Like I knew him when he first started hauling cars. Worked with him, so I know, and he's a stand-up guy. So it felt good being able to refer him uh, to James. So I want to say this: if you're the trailer company we talked to today. You, you already know, in just two and a quarter hours, we've proven to you what we told you today. We're not going to call you out because we love your company. But I'm telling you, there is something awesome happening here. Ty and I are talking to people almost every day. We got a couple phone calls lined up tomorrow we're excited about. Because oh, we're really growing, we're really helping people, and people are really asking for this stuff. It's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, it is. I, Niles, what do you got to say? You're being yeah. too quiet, man. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. It's just so overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it, it's exciting. Everything. Um, I think everything that you guys are doing is stupendous, especially since, you know, Jay, you had touched on how we talked like two years ago or something like that to where you uh -huh. come from there to now. Wow. It's awesome to see where the channel is. Wow, I know, man. It was hard to be on. It's awesome. <laughs> when I thank you. When I when we first talked, this channel was man, it was just like any other dream. Mhm. Mm yeah. So that yeah. is really awesome. Yeah, you're living I it. That. I know. It is living the dream. That's why I made a video called <laughs> Car Hauling Dispatcher Living the Dream. Mm. Because that is not something you do as a car hauling dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. In fact, it's kind of neat. I don't know which video it is, but I have a video now. It's 71,000 views. And I mean, it's, which it's one? thrilling to me. It's one of my dispatch videos. I think it's the third video I ever made. It's got a car. I actually was at a, I was at Odessa. Look at how that happens. I went to Odessa and I I brought my I brought my cell phone and I was recording video of car haulers and somebody from Odessa ah. pulls up in a white van and goes, "Who are you with?" I swear that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
auto transport intel who <laughs> i'm like man i am just i'm just a dispatcher i'm a car hauling enthusiast I'm getting some video, I'm talking to drivers, and I did, I talked to a few drivers, and but it was an eye-opener, and I was like, wow. And that's why I like Ty, he's always saying things that make me already flash back. Ty says, everything you need to know takes- You learn in the transport parking you lot. You learn in the transport parking lot. <laughs> did you see story. that PAT truck that uh, caught on fire? Uh, was that this that morning? there was two sitting next to each other at a truck stop, right? No, this one was it looked at the auction down in Orlando. I looked at it earlier. I saw a that video. A saw, lot of cars. Uh, oh, it was a car hauler. Okay, was it by itself? It it was a lot it had a lot of stage cars around it. I commented on the post. Oh no, it I didn't was see a, that. He said it was a PAT truck. But man. Now what's PAT? Is that a fleet? Yeah, Pat, uh, right. Pensacola Auto Transport. Oh, okay. I don't know if they merge with Masney or they just um, close partnership. I can't remember the legalities, but yeah, they're a nice fleet carrier. And they, that was crispy, burnt, everything. Oh, like, man. And it was cars beside it, staged, crap, you, all kind of crap. You know what sucks, man? Fires happen all the time. I mean, I've worked with guys... They told me stories of how their truck burn up. Man, it happens all the time. And on Facebook, I'll bet you can see a burn probably once a week, whether it's freight yep. or car hauling. It happens all the time. Oh, man. And now with all the snow, oh, my gosh, all the wrecks and the flipovers. Just even earlier with the fifth wheel versus the kingpin picture. Man, how often um, do you see a wedge trailer flipped over? Once a week. Where did that happen? And that looked like Jacksonville. I, I don't know. See. I don't. I don't. You know. I don't know. Um, I look. It looked like our sheriff's car, but I didn't. I didn't hear RC about that one. You know. You know. Uh, one of my clients had a funny story about wedge trailer turning over. They uh, had a guy quote him out to. Well, they quoted him to move a really expensive car for him, and the guy's like, No, no, no. He hired someone with a wedge trailer, and it got cut. Storm, no insurance, flipped over, and it was something like a five hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> Destroyed it, totaled it. Oh, man. And they were like, "Well, that's why you go with insured motorists." <laughs> but then you don't even have to check like the insurance central dispatch, or I don't know. Am I supposed to say that? Or, yeah, you can like, say whatever they don't you want. Buy insurance. Yeah, you know, like my sensors ain't real good. I'm doing a great job to myself, actually. Yeah, but you know but what? Like, you are keeping it real, Candy, and we love you for it. <laughs> yeah, keep it real. But Central Dispatch, you know, the carrier packages, they don't, I don't know, they let them update it, but it's bad insurance information. Uh, I got a carrier right now. He's just dealing with it legally where he thought because he had the police report, because the police verified the insurance, because he had the driver's information, because, because, and guess what? He had valid insurance, but not on that truck and trailer that he was in an accident at the auction. It was on another piece of equipment in another state, you know? So, like, how do you get covered? How do you, uh, how, how do you fix that? Well, like, we, the lawyer, you know, that's where uh, James comes in. But, yeah. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, we need lawyers in our starter kit. Yeah, Mr. Farragut. That's that's his. Um, nobody that's wants his. nobody wants to hear that, but it's true. We need lawyers, <clears throat> accountants. But I just like the community, like in here, like you said, creating a platform for where more carriers can communicate and like learn the value, like operational costs, like Ty said. But to actually learn, like how to say no, that no, their strength and no, and oh. just. Stop moving cheap cars just because, you know, some guys may not be paying insurance and get through the radar on Central. There are carriers, many who do and can't afford to carry those cheap cars. Um, but if you keep moving them, um, you're going to put the good carriers out of business because now your hustle is affecting their business. Uh, so That's right. I have just a platform to let them know that you're not going to keep getting away with hustling when everybody else is paying to be in business um what you were just talking about you know um 
that's one of the reasons why I, I I'll watch seminars, uh, trucking videos, um, like I Brandon from Alliance Logistics. It's all freight, um, but I'll watch it because even though it's a sister industry or maybe something somewhat somewhat unrelated, you can apply mm -hmm. these concepts. You can think about, oh, yeah, interacting with a customer on that level. Just today on Shaggy's, um, Kenny Long with Trucking with Authority, he was live, and he actually talked about no. And he talked about a version of no called the Japanese no. I'm like, the Japanese no? What's that? A Japanese, I don't know, I mean, I hope nobody's offended, and I mean, you know, it's a, it's just a great way of, of couching this version of no. Okay, the Japanese no is, instead of saying no, you say, well, I've got other obligations or something to do, so you're not saying the word no, but you're giving an alternative of why you can't do it. And, in fact, he took it a step further. And what he did was then, given the Japanese no, tried to see how far he could push to the extreme, either his pro or con, to turn the Japanese no into a yes. So, in this example, okay, so you need a, you need a load move to Maine. Okay, well, that's turned into a no or a Japanese no. But what if we said we'd, okay, yeah, we'll move it, we will move it tomorrow as you need for $20,000. Well, what the heck? All right, well, at least that's, but you're interested in that. Okay, well, let's go from 20000 to 19000 But anyway, the point is, it's not the minutia of the details, but rather these concepts. Because when presented with concepts that you can apply to your own business, you're actually learning something without even realizing that you were going to walk, you're not walking in a straight line, but you're going to get to point B. Yeah. Hmm. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to have to listen to this video again just to get that because I know there's a lot in there for me. So. Um, oh, okay. Hey, Tom. Tom's got a technical question. I love this stuff. Tom says, what microphone are you using, Miss Candy? You're coming in way better than all the rest. You're going to say your phone, hey. aren't you? Your phone, your phone right? <laughs> yeah. You're on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm on the office phone. Yeah. I'm this boy. And I'll tell you what, what's interesting, it's interesting you say that, this brings us back to Nate with Havoc Dynamics, is that he showed me a microphone, and I'm really interested in this thing, it's uh, uh, by the company Blue, and I think it's called the Blackout, I want to say Shadow, and I, I don't think either of those names is right, but it's a USB microphone that looks like the old time DJ microphone, if I can get the, the I have a DJ microphone, but it's XLR. In fact, this microphone right here, that thing is amazing, but it's XLR, and I would need a soundboard, and then an engineer, and then we're back in Star Trek, and I just don't, I'm not set up for all that. But this, <laughs> this microphone right here, the new version, is USB right into the laptop. Let me tell you something, I want to get one of those. Whoa. Yeah, brother. Whoa. And I don't even need it near my face. It'll be off camera. You know, wow. yeah, man, exactly. So, so, Tom, I love the question because the answer is Jay wants a new toy, and it's called a USB microphone. Yeah. Oh, there it is! Look at that. Isaac is all over Blue Yeti. Really good mics for live streaming. That's it. It's by Yeti. It's a Blue Yeti or a a Yeti Blue or yeah. It's a Yeti. The cooler people. No, no. In fact, if you mention that company again, I'm going to take my $400 <laughs> cooler and I'm going to go shoot it. That's a joke. I never understood why people were doing that. But I love non sequiturs. And uncomfortable uh. pauses, apparently. I <laughs> too, <laughs> Okay, it was meditation, so, car hauler meditation so, moment. <laughs> so speaking of, guess what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? We are at the two and a half hour mark. And I have told people that I no longer make three hour shows because that's just ridiculous. So um, I'm going to take this moment. I want to thank you guys so much for um, joining the panel, taking the time. I know it's late on the East Coast. 
and um, it is time to call it a night so we can wake up tomorrow and hit it again and um, and day by day you know we're gonna get through all this right hey, thanks Jay by the way for mentioning Jeff and his mom I've been in touch with Jeff quite a bit okay. and I do appreciate you cool man out there for the audience yeah <clears throat> Yeah, man. He sent me a text. She's had she had just ran a um, some dialysis test, but anyway, they finally got a good result. So good. Everybody out there, thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks for your praying and loving on Jeff. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. That is awesome, and it works. It really does. It really does work. So it's really that's really cool. And thanks for sharing that update. Yep, we're good. Cool. All right, man. Cool. Appreciate you. Thank All you. right. Thank you guys thank you so, so much. And Niles, thank you so much for all the information, for sharing your company, your product, your service, and your dedication. It means a lot. And um, I look forward to, you know, keep me posted. If, um, and Isaac, by the way, Isaac killing it in the live chat. There, He was there the whole show. Isaac really knocking it out of the park, man. You got a good guy there. So I really, we really appreciate you, Niles. Likewise. And thanks for having me on and looking forward to coming on more often. Cool, man. I look forward to it also. Yep. So when finished vehicle stuff comes up, hit me up. Okay. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to tune out of this frame and I will see you guys on the flip side. Thanks. Good night. Okay, good night, Candy. I hear the bag. I guess. Good All night. All right, peace. All right, so there's me again. Let's do this. I got to switch the camera again. And let's go. Let's click on that. Let's click on that. And let's see here. Where do we go? Man, where do we go now? See, I thought I could go here. And then I could go here. And then, let's see. Let's kick him out. Kick him out. Let's see here. Remove. Boom. Okay, just removed him. Bang. And then we'll do this. And we'll finish the show from this screen. How cool. All right, so this is the, uh, this is actually, we're still in Zoom video meeting, but we're on my camera. And from here, basically, I'm going to do the show wrap up, and then I'm going to run the car hauler again, because that's how I like to finish the show. Um, and, oh, yeah, there's that. So uh, that's my uh, that's my reminder, just in case I forgot what I'm doing and who I am and where I'm at, because, you know, these things can happen. Listen, man, whether you're a car shipping customer, you are a new car hauling business, you want to be a car hauling dispatcher, you are working on building your auto transport broker business, you're a broker, you're a, a car hauling lead generator, building leads of customers that are going on to Google. Maybe you work in insurance, or you got a trailer company, or you got an auto supply company, or maybe you're a mechanic shop. Maybe you're a dealer. Maybe you're an auction. If you're at all any part of the auto transport ecosystem, I want to talk to you. I want you to be part of the auto transport intel network, community, ecosystem, because this is the car hauling business channel. This is where car haulers and car shippers work together. This is a drama-free work zone, okay? And, and I mean, this is social media. This is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and a real platform where you can share ideas, learn new information. You can listen to it as you're driving. You don't have to be here for the live show, and you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is tune in and just subscribe, like, share you can comment i get a lot more comments now on the videos and when people ask questions and they want help i reply and i point them to either go to cts transport cts business coaching.com again that is cts business coaching.com or just send me an email auto transport intel at gmail.com so i'm jay i was a car hauling dispatcher now i focus on this show every day and I, every day, I'm either on the phone helping build the network or I'm working on the next show. Those are the main two things I do. And I'm also, right now, working on building towards Matt's 2019. It's the last weekend in March. I want to see you there. 
go to truckingshow.com, sign up, it's free. There is so much information for free at your fingertips that you can get. And I'll tell you what, too, we're excited. We're not ready to unveil it, but we are going to do another car hauling meetup. And we'll tell you when, we'll tell you where, once we know more about you know that it's happening, but we're working towards that. So want to have more live events this year. And listen, if you've got a company product or service and you want to get that information out to the car hauling community, join me on the Car Hauling Business Channel. Let's set up an interview, get you on a live panel. Maybe you want to do some advertising and maybe you want to be a channel partner and end up in our starter kit. So those options are out there. I really want to appreciate you for tuning in. I know it's gotten late. We're at two hours and 34 minutes. And uh, man, I'm so stoked about bringing people on the show, staying in touch, and then bringing more people into the fold. This is awesome. So guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight on Auto Transport Intel Tuesday Nights Live. Here comes the car hauler. I hope I don't screw up the audio. Guys, I will see you next Tuesday night, as usual, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern on Auto Transport Intel. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.